Hello and welcome to the stream. Or at least this time when I start streaming, it's not just a red box. This says I have no connection at all. That's great. So I'm back with Insurmountable. I'm not 100% sure if the Daedalic Cell is still on. I know it said it was going till May 5th, but that doesn't mean it's actually on May 5th. That might mean it ends on May 5th. I'm not 100% sure. But I still wanted to play some more insur insurmountable, so let's see if maybe we can beat the rest of these first mountain challenges, shall we? I think I've only got like two more side quests, and then we'll be moving on to the second tallest peak. Because remember, all these side quests we've been doing, these are still just little foothills of the first mountain. So I imagine they're right around the same height and everything, and maybe the death zone gets worse on the bigger mountains? I don't know. I did um, turn up the music a little bit, because I'm starting to realize like where on the desktop audio meter I can put stuff and it won't be so bad. I turned up the mu uh, the sounds a little bit and everything, so should sound a little better this time. Of course, there will be no echoes, hopefully. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run the ad. I'll be right back. Oh, look, it's Deponia. <laughs> oh, my God, watching the desktop audio meter with every little thump of the music is mesmerizing because <laughs> it disappears and then it thumps okay now now it's going back to normal <laughs> but there at the end of the loop it's like do, 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 and that's all it is so you can just see it disappear fully and then do, and then disappear fully and do it again it's kind of crazy <laughs> Hey, there's war pips. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get the starting soon off. And let's get into it. Hey, there's Deponia and war pips. I streamed this, and I may stream Deponia, I'm not sure. If so, it'll probably just be the first game, and maybe just to see you know, how much I remember of it. I'm not very good at those puzzle games at all. Yeah, it's a point-and-click game, like, you know, Pillars of Earth and whatnot, but Pillars of Earth isn't super puzzly, you know? What were we taking again? Oh yeah, that flashlight, right. I wonder if I should take the flashlight or should I take the climbing axe? Oh wait, no, the climbing axe is 25. Never mind. I'd have to give up something for that. And there's nothing in here that's worth 5. So if you take one of these 25s, you're gonna be having a weird, weird amount of capacity. And I do feel like it's always a good idea to take a tent. Because you're never guaranteed to find tents out there. Well, let's check where we're going. See, we only have these two side missions left. One for the uh, journalist and one for the scientist. I think I just did this journalist because he's here. So let's do the scientist's one. It's a large mountain with moderate elevation. There's a great deal of dangerous terrain on this mountain. Well, we may want to take an extra rope then. Thin air. Breathing is harder on this route. Oh. Good. So that's just straight up. 
that's not um, just in the death zone. That means the death zone is going to be extra harsh. And we've got extra harsh terrain. So the the weather's normal though, so maybe we could get rid of the tea and take an extra rope. Since there's going to be a lot of harsh terrain, this just negates harsh terrain, so yeah. Try that. It might be a bad idea. I might really want to bring that tea. You know what? Let's get rid of the flashlight for now. Grab a tea. And, fuck, oxygen bottles have to be 15, really? I could take another rope. With three rope? I mean, that's kind of, kind of overkill, isn't it? Maybe. Could do the sanity thing, too, maybe. It's odd that I don't have bandages unlocked. I'd love to take bandages with me. Bandages would be fantastic. I mean, I really could just take a third rope. Yeah, hell, let's do it. Might run into some really bad terrain. I mean, it does say that the terrain is worse. Scale the summit and reach the goal. All right, let's do it. Remember, we're the scientist. That means he's got the eagle eye skill still. I think I gave him other skills. Oh, yeah, he's definitely got... He's got the tinkerer skill now. There is a new task waiting for you, a new challenge to master. You head out again into the unknown. Oh god. Oh, this one looks especially confusing. God, the summit's so far away. Do we see any medallions that look pretty good here? Points of interest. There's a meeting couple of meeting places. Looks like an item or a handshake. There's a shrine down there. Another shrine. Okay. It's pretty good. We might want to grab some of these on our way up. I don't... Oh, there's a couple of meeting... No, there's a cave and a meeting place over there. And there's something over there, but I can't quite tell. I think it's a encounter. Yeah, I think I'm going to head this way. Try and collect most of these, if not all of them. Maybe go for these first, since they look to be the closest. Alright. We've got an idea. Don't step on this, because it's already risky terrain. Uh, let's go with that for now. That should be fine. We'll just at least set foot, start off our journey. Okay, so oxygen doesn't seem too bad right now, which is surprising, because I thought the thin air would make us be losing oxygen already. Okay. Oh wait, I should probably see what kind of stuff he's got here. Terrain knowledge, terrain knowledge. This is all terrain knowledge, night resistance, death zone resistance. But that's only in the death zone, so that's not going to help any. Event knowledge... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way that I'm getting more oxygen, because see, thin air... Hmm, I don't know. Oh, the weather's automatically going to be cold tomorrow? That sucks. Now let's just go this nice, easy route here. We can make our way over to that encounter. We're not using very much energy either, which is great. And so just, like, all mountains. What am I doing? I should be using my skills. Hold on. Right-click to stop. Use that skill for sure. I mean, it does take time, but it does give you an instant level up. Hmm. So that's sanity. Reduced energy cost. I mean, I think I'm going to go with warm thoughts. Even though I don't really tend to like warm thoughts that much. I do have a lot of ropes. So using those ropes... Wait, hold on. What does this do again? To create your own equipment. Okay. Oh. You think about what you need most right now. Oh, you can just, like, make stuff? Okay. Well, energy might be nice. Is that going to be food? Oh, a climbing rope. 
A climbing axe. Okay, so the climbing axe takes money. The climbing rope, or I mean, takes energy and time. This just takes time. But a climbing axe, that would be super freaking useful. Yes. Wow, you can just create stuff. That is kind of freaking amazing. Not gonna lie. Walk. It doesn't even have that long of a cooldown. Or maybe it does. I thought it said 36 hours. Maybe that was this one. Okay, most of this is probably not very dangerous terrain. Is that deep snow? No, that's, that's precarious snow. I'd rather dodge that. If the risky terrain comes up, we should probably try and dodge it. We're almost to the encounter already. Then there's an item not very far away, and then that yeah, looks to be a shrine and a cave. And then maybe come over here and swing and grab these. Not too sure though. Can definitely get to this from here though. Okay, that looks fine. Because this is not a space, and that's not a space. This is all like rubble. So we can't shortcut it like that, unfortunately. But that's fine. I actually think this is a nice labyrinth here. Oh, it actually may not be. That might be risky terrain. Oh, it's an injured mountaineer. Ah, uh, this one again. I'll just try and help him. It's the one where you set his shoulder. I think. Wait. Speak to him in a soothing voice. He opens his eyes and looks at you bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He's very grateful and shares his provisions with you while assuring you that he will be alright from now on. Oh, this wasn't the guy that needed his shoulder, shoulder set. What did he give us? A hiking staff. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't need the sanity, but I suppose I'll take the hiking staff, sure. I don't know if it's going to be incredibly useful. I think that the uh, climbing pick is much more useful. What would it take to get here? Oof. Yeah, that is an ice labyrinth. Okay, so I think I'm going to use a rope here. Rope won't really help me with ice labyrinth, but let's do it here. Yeah, that'll be a perfect place to use it. Okay. Use a rope. I should get some warmth from it too, I think. I think. Pretty sure I got it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I did. Because it's a consumable item. And that's what Warm Thoughts does. It gives you like four body temperature whenever you use a consumable item or something like that. Unless the rope doesn't count as a consumable item. Maybe it doesn't. Hey, this is the old pittens one. Nice. So we could climb the wall. Or just continue the journey. I think I'm going to climb the wall. And they left something behind. It is some tea. Okay. I mean, I suppose that's pretty good. I got energy for that? What? Weird. Energy and experience. And some hot tea, which is nice, because my body temperature is kind of dropping anyway. Okay, cool. Maybe these don't count as consumables. Level up. Um. Yeah, you know what? Controlled breathing is probably fantastic. Yes. Especially because it's got thin air. That will battle the thin air really well. I'm very worried about that thin air when it comes to the death zone. Do I still have my rope on? How much longer? Very little. Will it be enough to get through these two? Yes, I think it will. I don't have to be stingy with the ropes because I brought three of them. And each one of them has three uses, so that's nine uses of rope. Granted, the summit is very far away. 
And I don't think we ever have to worry about these ones. I don't think you can trigger a risky event if there's a good little point of interest there. And this is a shrine, so that's super good. Give me energy. Give me energy. Energy? Yes! Energy! Perfect. Good. I was going to go to the cave to sleep, but I guess I don't need to. Is there any way... Ooh, that's going to be a lot of climbing. Get up there. That's going to drain the energy. Do I want to go up there? There doesn't appear to be anything there. There's another shrine there, however. Oof. That is a lot of climbing, though. Let me try going here. Yeah, it should be fine. Remember, blue exclamation points aren't that bad. I may drink a tea here soon, too. Oh, look at that. We're actually getting oxygen. Fantastic. It's due to the uh, controlled breathing, for sure. Oh, I didn't mean to do this cave, but that's fine. I can explore the tunnel. I don't think it's going to be good, though, because it's dark. I guess I have to step in the darkness. This is going to be bad. Oh, well, that was just experience. That's fine. My god. Should I lie down to sleep? Probably not. I've got plenty of energy. Nah, we'll just cruise on through the night. We can do it. And I have food if I need to. Okay. Now it is cold, so this is not great. Now we're going to be losing body temperature. God, that's a long climb. I mean, it's doable. Maybe it would be better to climb up here. Mm. Oh my god, they're not kidding when they said this was full of risky terrain. This is like, what, three in a row here? Or you can skip and just do one? I don't know if I'll activate a rope there. Not 100% sure yet. Because it's just one risky terrain if I take the route that I want to take. It would be just this one, right? This one's probably risky. Oh, that one is actually a yellow. And an ice labyrinth. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll use another rope. Now, is this going to get... Yeah, see, it does give me just the tiniest little bit of warmth. You can see that little tiny bit of green. So, yeah, the warm thoughts does work. With ropes. I thought it did. I'd like to boost it up. That would be nice. I don't know if I'm going to use Eagle Eye. Maybe... Maybe here soon. All it does is just give you a better, you know, bird's eye view kind of thing. Trying to keep an eye on my skills, though, because I really want to be able to use those. What do we got here? A boulder grabs your attention. There is... What will you, will you, what will you leave in its place? Uh, is that a, just a tent? I don't really want a tent. I don't want to leave my canned food. I already have a tent, so I'm just going to say nah. I really don't want to clutter up my inventory with another tent. Energy? Can I get more energy? I would take more energy. Nope, not this time. Sanity or health? I'll definitely take the sanity. I haven't lost any health, so I'm fine there. Uh, this might be a good time to use the eagle eye, because I can't see around this freaking glacier. I can't scroll out any further, so let's use Eagle Eye. Scroll, 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 scroll. Very nice. Now I can see around it. And I can go even further if I hold the V key, see? Wow, man, that's really far away. It'll be here before you know it, though. There's a metal right there, right in the middle of the screen. That might be what I had for... Not 100% sure what it is, though it's so far away. Is that another shrine? It actually might be another shrine. Okay. So the eagle eye doesn't last very long. 
it has a duration of like 0.1 hours because it's literally until your next move oh my god is that all risky terrain what is it oh it's just deep snow <sighs> Ooh, i don't think i want to do that though although this is going to take body temperature god i guess that's fine try and get around all this junk i want to at least travel until night and then try and take a pop proper rest wait okay good trying to keep an eye mostly on this skill because that's the one where you get free experience which is super good super worth it okay that just takes mostly body heat I think I'll go this way because that's going to take less energy. I'm trying to get to that shrine. There doesn't seem to be very many points of interest, honestly. Yeah, it's definitely a shrine. I can see it glowing. I mean, there's like, there's nothing over here. Oh, God. We have to be careful, too. We might be entering the death zone soon. Because we're going up. Uh, there is an encounter over here, but... Yeah, it's pretty damn far away. Might just uh, let that one slide. If I was to try to get to the shrine, how does it say to do it? Yeah, that's what I figured. Go around the left. That's what I was thinking. So here, here. Yeah, let's do that for now. Just trying to travel until it gets to, to the night. And then we'll try and rest then. I don't see any caves, so we'll probably just use the tent. It's no big deal. Okay. I don't think I can go this way. Well, no, because that this is a dead end right here. There's nothing connecting to this square except for this one. So let's just go this way. That should be just deep snow. That's not a big deal. I could even get around this risky terrain here. I can tell that's like very rubbleless terrain let's try that that should be fine now i'm not sure if the safety rope negates the effects of the blue exclamation point i guess it would make sense because it says all dangerous terrain i think but blue exclamation points aren't as bad as you know yellow and you wouldn't think so because they're like, those are the really dangerous terrain, but it's it's not really that dangerous. It's basically just, like, deep snow is going to take a lot of energy to get through. Or more energy than use, than more, or than you're used to. And ice labyrinths are going to take more, I think it's more energy and more body heat. Because they're very cold. Oh, that shrine. That is yellow, that's not great fine though it's just one we haven't triggered any risky events yet so hopefully we won't trigger one now Ooh, the bad thing is this might be leading us to a dead end no i think i can even get over here to this encounter okay we passed right by that that's good Let's see what this shrine has to offer i take body heat Body heat? Oh yeah, look, the touch of the stone is warm. Yeah, warmth. I'll take the warmth for sure. Beautiful. Anyway, I don't even have to drink a tea for right now. Let's see, if we go around, we could probably get to that encounter. It is getting close to nighttime though, so... Are there any caves nearby at all? My god, I don't see any medals. Well, there's something up there. That's a sun medallion, so that's more than likely just going to be sanity. I think maybe the sun medallions are always sanity. I can tell you one thing about them. They're always good. Just like shrines are always good. Shrines always give you a choice of two different things to fill up. Sanity, warmth, energy, oxygen, or health, of course. And everything's worth experience, of course. 
wonder what wonder what else kind of things he can make. Cause I've never used that skill before. I've never had it. Is this risky? Yeah. Sure. I don't think this one can trigger, like I said. I'm pretty sure that something that risky terrain on a point of interest just never can trigger. Because the point of interest triggers first. Although it might be able to trigger afterward. I don't know. Okay, we're fine. Good. What do we got here? Oh, a trade. Ooh, an oxygen bottle. Well, hold on real quick. Don't I have an extra hot tea anyway? And I just got warmed. Yeah, so maybe I will t leave the hot tea to get an oxygen bottle. I mean, you could just take it and leave nothing. But I do have an extra hot tea. Sure, I'm gonna need the oxygen bottle, I'm sure. Fairly certain I'm gonna need that. Especially with it having thin air and us just about to get into the death zone. There's an encounter over there. Hmm. It's rather risky. What does it look like on the other side there? Is there a way around? There is not. It is a dead end. I would have to double back. It might be worth it. Because I could sneak around like this. Yeah, let's try it. And then since it's going to be nightfall soon, I probably am just going to rest right now. We'll use the tent, we'll sleep long, basically sleep through the whole entire night, get much energy back. Good. Let's do it. By the time this is done, we'll be able to use our skill again. Good. Free experience. Bam. Level up. All right. Stay warm. Gain more body temperature per hour when moving. Hmm. What is this? One more push? Significantly increased oxygen gain for a time, but increased sanity loss until the end of the mission? Ooh. And what does this one do? Just when moving, you get more body temperature? Hmm. No, I think I'm going to go with controlled breathing. Because remember, there is thin air here. And so just more oxygen sounds really good, especially because we're about to get in the death zone. And that does not sound fantastic. Ah, it's back to clear. And tomorrow's going to be clear, too. Oh, that's fantastic news. That means we are going to get that body heat back up. Good. I guess I could maybe just go around the other way. Oh, God, not this one again. This usually ends up really bad, but I'm going to try it. You spot a broken crate on the ground. Ooh. I grab provisions, or I free the fox, so I could get a sanity boost, and a little more experience, or I could get more food. Sorry, fox. I'm going to go for the food. I don't really need the sanity all that much. What is over there? I'm going to use Eagle Eye real quick. And just see if I can peek around here. Oh god, there's like nothing. Like literally no points of interest at all. There is... Is there a small path through here? Yeah, there is a tiny path through here. I wonder if maybe I should take that. Should I just double back? I could double back. I don't know if I want to, though. Because I don't know if I'm going to go for that sun medallion. It is really far away now. If there's an item way the hell over there. Two items, actually. Never did go that way, though. You can't get everything. It's impossible. If anybody ever could, they must be gods at this game, because you don't have a whole lot of time. Alright, let's do something like this for now. 
I could try and make another item, too. But right now, I kind of feel like my inventory is kind of full. Yeah, I mean, what are the chances that he could make, like, snowshoes or something? Does it take time? I guess not. I guess I'll try it again. Let's see. What do I need most? I mean, I could do oxygen. He might be able to make an oxygen mask. Body temperature, health would probably make bandages more than likely. Let's see if he can make an oxygen mask. Oxygen bottle, yep, oxygen mask. That's probably worth it. Yeah, let's do it. That is definitely worth it. Because we are just about to head into the death zone. This is an ice labyrinth, isn't it? No, it's not. Ugh. Everything's risky. Actually, I don't think I even want to go that way. I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, that should be fine. And since it's about to be night anyway, maybe we sleep again? I'm not sure, though. I have food. Although we don't have a lot of body temperature, it would be kind of shitty to uh, try and explore through the night. So sleeping is probably the better idea. There's a shrine over there. God, that's really far away. Really kind of scary, honestly. Well, it doesn't use much energy. Try that. I actually believe there's like no caves here. Oh wait. As I say there's no caves, there's literally a cave. Fantastic. You know what? I'll head for that cave, I think. Damn it. Shoot. From the blink of an eye, you feel the... Oh, great. So I can't dig fast because I don't have the energy. Dig slowly. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's not great. Hmm. Damn. Of course a bad event would have to hit there. That was a rough one. That took a lot of energy. But there's a cave right here. That's where I'm going to try and sleep. Hopefully we can make it there without too much time passing. There we go. That way we don't have to use the tent, because it only has two uses left. And I just don't know if that's going to be enough. Alright, perfect. I can follow the wind. Oof. Yikes. That was bad. The place is just too dangerous. Damn it. Oh wait, I, I got a warm cap though. That's nice. My body temperature is bad. Very bad. But we're going to be sleeping anyway, so that's fine. Um, I can put on the warm cap for now. I don't want to leave the oxygen mask. We can build that thing. I don't want to leave it. Yeah, you can hear the heart beating. That's because my body temperature is low. I am going to sleep. This will give us lots of body temperature, so we should be fine. 
Yeah, we'll do a long sleep. That's good. And we won't be in critical condition anymore. Man, why did my body temperature suffer so badly? Really bad. Well, it's going to be cold again, so that's not great. It's going to make me regret leaving my tea. Hmm, is that nice, Labyrinth? Nope. Deep snow? Yeah, that's what I figured. Hmm, I want to make it to that shrine. There's also another shrine over there. Interesting, but definitely no way to get through this way. Okay, so this, this, that deep snow? No, it's risky snow. Not exactly what I'm looking for. There's deep snow, that's fine. There we go. Let's try that. Try and make our way over to that shrine. I do believe we're getting closer and closer to the summit, though. We should be pretty damn close now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely getting more within view. Yeah, it's a little bit risky snow, but it should be fine. Yep. Body temperature's not great. How much am I getting? 0.8. So probably like one per hour, I'm guessing. Need more experience. I can't remember if you get experience at shrines. I don't think you actually do. I think you just get one of the meters. I would definitely take body temperature in this one. Oh, there's that other shrine. It really is close. There's an item. Something else over there. Another shrine. Another cave. That sun medallion doesn't look so far off now, but... I'm probably just going to keep going this way for now. We've already kind of picked this path, so let's just take it. Let's not stray too far. Because we're going to be getting into the death zone very soon. I'm like 100 meters away from the death zone. Give or take. 150. Please, body. Or, well, energy's fine, too. Sure. It's not really what I was looking for, though. I was looking for temperature or warmth. I'm gonna grab this other shrine and see if it's temperature. Could really use it. I may have to just pop that hot tea. Even though it's not super great. I'd like to maybe get warm thoughts, too. I didn't realize it was gonna be so cold. Didn't say there was any reason to be fearing the cold. Uh, let's see, there's a cave. What is that? Item. The cave in the distance over there, and another item. May not be so bad, but I think I'm going to go this way. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff over here, too. And I do think that will lead closer to the summit. Yeah, let's head that way. Grab the shrine. Hopefully it'll be body warmth. Sanity would be fine, too. Body heat? Nope, no warmth. That is unfortunate. I guess I'll take the energy. Really not what I wanted, though. Deep snow. And I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go something like... Whoops. That should be fine, I think. Well, we got plenty of energy, so that's not a problem. And I believe deep snow doesn't cost um, body heat. Which is interesting, or body temperature, whatever it's called. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. There's another shrine. That is not very far away. Yeah, you know what? Cancel all that. Let's go... I don't know. Let's go this way. I want to pop that shrine, just in case it's warmth or sanity. If it's anything that's not warmth or sanity, I'm going to be pretty angry. Because I really don't need the energy. I'm doing fine with energy. This is a risky get. 
Because these are both risky. I think I'm going to pop a rope. Use up that rope all the way. There we go. Just in case, because I'm going to have to go back through that risky terrain anyway. Please, for the love of God, be body warmth. I really need the warmth. Please try and be good. Oh, you weren't even freaking here. You're here. Damn it. That's fine. I've still got the rope for five and uh, five point two hours, so we're good. What are you? Please be warmth. Warmth. <gasps> warmth. Yes. Oh yes. Massive warmth gain. Very worth. So worth it. Okay, good. Good, because yeah, we're about to head into the death zone. Even though it, even though we're going down now, that's because we're going into the, like this little valley here. But we're going into the death zone, because we are about to go like straight up this summit, or straight up to the summit. Uh, was wondering if I should build anything on this. Probably not. Although if. Oh, you know what? I think I will. I think I'm going to say body temperature, because it's been a problem. And I wonder... Well, there's tea. Ah, damn. Oh, improved warm gloves. What? That requires fur gloves? Huh. Really? Damn it, I was hoping you could make the boots. Sure, I'll just make the tea. That's fine. Oh, damn it. I could have used the gloves. I forgot. Gloves aren't here. That's just a tool. Damn it. So stupid. It's fine. There's another shrine over there. Yeah, that's where I'm headed to next. Pick up the shrine. Pick up this item. And this uh, sun medallion over there. What is that up there? Another item? That's pretty good. I don't see any caves nearby. Granted, I don't really need energy. Problem is warmth. Like, I used so much warmth making that tea. But it's fine. Now we have two teas, so that's good. Oh, shit. Hold on. Pop that real quick. Ooh, god, that uses a lot of warmth. Maybe it's because these things use up so much time. Yeah, that could be it. Level up. Ooh, warm thoughts. That's pretty good. Reduce time cost when moving and climbing while oxygen is high. That's nice. I think I'm going to go for the warm thoughts. Whenever you use a consumable item, gain six body temperature. That's much better than what I've got now, which I think is just three. Oh, no, it's four to six. Okay. Good stuff. And let's head over here. Because we can't get through here. This is all blocked. Might just kind of scoot on through here. This looks relatively safe terrain. This is deep snow, I think. Yeah, deep snow. That's not a big deal. Something like that. Kind of a gross path, but uh, I think it'll work. Oh, wait. Is this... Yeah, I think there might just barely be a way through here. Oh, this is some precarious terrain there. There's a lot of very much dead ends. So what would it say to get here? That way? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Sure, go for it. Can we get lucky and maybe it's another warrant shrine? Maybe. You know what? Screw it. I think I'm gonna drink one of those teas. It should be... Yeah, look at that. It's worth a lot of warmth. Good stuff. Well, even that fur hat's not helping much, is it? Not really. It is tough to keep the warmth up. For some reason, it didn't even say it was gonna be hard to keep the warmth up, but it's... It's cold. Great. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that looks like a fire. That looks like warmth. Yes, warmth. Oh, yes. Good double warmth shrines. Feels super good. 
What's this item, I wonder? Is it going to be good or is it going to be terrible? Tent. Nearby an abandoned camp, there is a torn tent. You could take the time to search the intact tents. I thoroughly search for some body warmth, which I did get. Yeah, let's thoroughly search, see what we can find. You find some equipment. What did I find? Oh, flashlight. That's nice. All right, I'll take the flashlight. Maybe use it at night. Although I really like the climbing axe. Just being able to save all that energy feels super good. My god, there's so many items here. Okay, so maybe we could go... Hmm. It's deep snow. It's also deep snow. That might not be so bad. It's a lot of energy. And we're probably headed into the death zone. Oh, it's coming. I don't know where it's going to be, though. But once we get in, I don't think we're leaving. Ooh, a cave? I don't mind if I do. I might just grab this item, grab the cave, and then come back down for the item. Although that cave might be in the death zone. Are you in the death zone? Yep, you're just in the death zone. What a terrible place for a cave. Is there any easy way to get this item without having to double back? No, not really. Let's see what it is. Maybe it'll be something great. Who knows? I could use boots. Boots or gloves? Next time I'll probably make the gloves, because I, I just completely forgot they don't take the place of your tool. I don't know why I thought they did. But they don't. What do we got here? Uh, outlines of monoliths. Some of them have collapsed, broken into a thousand pieces, an ancient ritual site? I stay and examine the area where I continue my journey. Uh, let's examine it, sure. Did nature do this to them? Blah, 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 blah. Circle of life. And discover some provisions. Ooh, a tent. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Hmm. But if I drink my tea, which I need anyway, then I can grab the tent. Which is probably a good thing. Even though... You know, I might just say screw the cave. It is in the death zone. That's not a good place to sleep. Yeah, screw it. Let's just sleep right here. Do we need a sl uh, long sleep? Mm. Sure, let's do it. That should be fine. That should mean I can craft something. Yep, crafting is up. All right, let's craft. And I am going to craft more body temperature. This time I'm gonna build those freaking gloves. It takes energy. Wait, I get body temperature? Why? This would give me body temperature too. That's very weird. I don't know. Maybe because I'm still in the tent technically? I have no idea. But I'm gonna get these warm gloves because I want those improved warm gloves. So, yeah, let's grab the warm gloves, equip them, because they do go here. These are boots. Shit. Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. Why did it have to be a storm? Alright, let's go. I think it's all about, yeah, energy cost for climbing is increased in, during storms. And it also makes it very hard to see, as you can tell. Very hard to see. Let's see if we can just avoid most of the risky terrain. Funny thing is, during a storm, you're, you don't lose body heat like faster or anything like that. Oh, this might be a place for a rope. Yeah, let's use a rope. And the warm thoughts kicks in. Nice. 
good. Yeah, see, I'm actually getting body temperature. Oh, yeah, duh. I put those gloves on. Duh. The gloves and the hat. Um, I'll probably put the oxygen mask on once I get to the death zone. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You got it. And we'll find out what this item is. And then we'll probably head on to the summit. Good. Oh, is this an oxygen bottle? Yeah, you know what? I don't need an oxygen bottle that badly. I've been prepared for oxygen, and I already have a bottle and a mask. How would it be to get here? Oof. That is a rough way to get there. Is there any... Any easier way to get there? Ugh. Is this a dead end? Oh my god. It really is a dead end. There's absolutely no way here. That is too bad. I was kind of hoping to go around this way, but no, this is all dead terrain. Shoot. Because I kind of want that sun medallion there. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to go back for it, though. I still have my rope, right? For 4.4 hours? Yeah, let's go. I'm going to go for it because it's probably sanity, and I certainly could use some sanity. I haven't found any of those moon flowers, so... Let's get sanity any way we can, right? What exactly is the way to get there, though? Uh-oh. Ugh. Sure. I guess we'll take it. I think the rope should be... It should last long enough to get to that yellow spot. Maybe not, though. Don't know how long this is going to take. And we can easily just rest when we get there, because it's going to be dark when we reach. You can see by the time how long it's going to take. And you can speed it up, but I, I just, you know, kind of like watching everything. You can definitely speed it up, though. It has no effects on time or energy cost. It just makes things move faster. I think it makes it look kind of goofy, though. Because I saw the developer streaming this game, and he, he played it in, like, super speed mode, and it looks kind of goofy. Besides, this feels more realistic to me. You can't, like, supersonic your way through a mountain in real life. You gotta go nice and slow. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is bad. This is not what you want to see. This will be a perfect place to sleep, though. The problem is, there's no way out of this. It's a dead end. We already know that. But I think this is for sanity, and I definitely could use it. Soothing, tingling, feeling calm and relaxed. Yes, that should be sanity. I do believe. Yes, sanity. And experience. Way more important than it's experience. Alright. Reserve energy. That's just for 24 hours. Take it slow would be real nice. Fast movement might be nice. I'm going to take, take it slow. Nice. Alright, and we are basically out of energy, so I am going to sleep. And it will always use your tent that has the lowest durability. Which is good. Because you definitely don't want to use your other tent. You want to get rid of this so you can have more inventory space. And I have the extra tent, so it's not a big deal. Cool. That is very good. The storm is almost over. It's going to be clear next time. I'm just going to start doubling back right now, because we know we can't go this way, even though it looks like it. I could turn on the flashlight, but pff, I'm not going to worry about it. Daybreak right here anyway. See? Boom. Good. Okay, so... Yeah, see, there's no way around. 
at all. I mean, you can go up here and then down here, but then you are completely surrounded by rubble. You can no longer move. Completely surrounded here, too. It's just a dead end. But I could go back this way, I think. If we go this way... Wait, stop. Forgot to do this. Bye. Nice. Just straight up get some experience. Good stuff. That is deep snow. Yeah, and risky ice. That should be fine, hopefully. Nope, wasn't fine. It's a glacier. While climbing next to a flat crevice, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. So what should I do? Quickly pull myself up the slopes, losing lots of energy, or I carefully let myself slide down the slope. Losing a bit of body heat and a bit of time. I think the body heat's probably better. Yeah. Because I am planning on building those better gloves anyway. I'm going to do that right now. Body temperature. I built the improved warm gloves. Oh, that's going to take a lot of energy. It's worth it, though. Bam. Beautiful. And it's already nightfall. Damn. That sure took a long time. Oh, shit. It's another dead end. Damn it. What a waste. What an absolute waste. Yeah, I was like, there's no way we're going to trigger that same space twice, right? No way. No way that happens. Okay, what's the plan? We could go for the cave, but it's not a good place to sleep anyway. Is that a cave over there? Yep. Item way up there. Where is the summit? There it is. See, and if you look up in the sky, you can see all those twirling stars and sparkles and stuff. That just lets you know where the summit is. Or where your goal is, I should say. Your goal is not always the summit. No, I want to see if I can avoid that risky land there. That's good. I don't know why it would want me to step there. That's dumb. Just go this direction. That way you don't step on the risky land. Now, the trick is I don't know how... How much, like, rubble is going to be in the way here? So I don't even know if this is the correct path to take to get up. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go for it. I want to go this way so that I can head over to... Wasn't it an item over there? There's a cave. Whoops, I cannot see. Hold on. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do that. Use the V key real quick and see. We've got a cave and a cave. And I think that might be an encounter. Sun medallion. A bunch of medallions over here. I'm probably going to stick to this side. Because I don't know what the hell is going on over there. I do see just barely a medallion right there, too. I don't know what that is. Can't really tell, but I can just barely see it over that peak. Or that rock. Actually, I'll probably go see what that is. We might still explore the cave up here, but I definitely don't think I want to sleep in it. Although, maybe. Maybe. Depends upon how much it's going to hurt my oxygen. I'll put the oxygen mask on, of course. And see what happens. Oof, that's going to hurt the energy big time, but that's fine. Remember, we still have plenty of ropes, too, so if there's ever... Tons and tons of risky terrain. I'll pop a rope for sure. Because I think I still have, what, like, seven uses of rope? No, three, four, five, five, right. Right. That's right, I forgot I used up one rope all the way already. Let's try something like that. Well, actually, I don't know if I want to go to that deep snow or not. That is going to use up a lot of energy. Actually, I think I'm going to change my mind. You can change your mind if you right-click just before it. It'll always stop at the next square. I think that's going to be a better idea. I do want to see what's around this rock. It looks like it's an item. 
I mean, I'm not sure. My inventory's pretty full, honestly. It is pretty damn full. Hopefully it's not a tent. I think I might try and sleep here. I can always pick the extra oxygen. Yeah. Oh, it didn't even give me the death zone thing yet. That sucks. I follow the noise. I have a flashlight. Ding. Good. Guess this detour was worth it. It's food. Okay, food's good. Food is super good because it's very small too. All right, so I think we're gonna sleep. Gonna lose a lot of oxygen. Maybe I shouldn't sleep just yet. I'm thinking I wanna put my oxygen mask on first, then sleep. And that should make a difference. Not much of a difference though. Maybe just sleep brief? Yeah, let's just sleep brief. That should be fine. I've got food. Okay. I don't want to lose too much oxygen. And it didn't even give me the death zone thing. Because it was a cave. Ugh. Well, that's not fair. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it if I step back into the death zone. Because it's supposed to give you an event for entering the death zone. And maybe if I haven't gotten it, maybe it'll give me it now. There we go, yeah. I definitely want this event. Because I want the decreased oxygen loss. Sanity would be nice too, but I think I'm going to go with the decreased oxygen loss. It's usually what I take. Now, what would I need to do to get here? That way? It's probably the only way, honestly. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that for now. It's a little bit stormy. Okay. And then up here... Not the best day to be climbing, that's for sure. Look at the item. Disturbed snow. It's churned up as if recent it was recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? I dig deeper, lose a lot of stuff. I dig just beneath the surface. That one. Damn it. I do kind of want to get that way. Use the eagle eye skill. Okay, I just kind of want to look up here. That's why I'm using eagle eye. I just want to see what the path is. I really do want to get those metals down there, though. The points of interest down here. There's quite a few of them, I think. There's a cave. That is definitely in the death zone. There's something else over there. It looks like an encounter. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. There's a sun medallion. I certainly need that. That's probably sanity. I think the sun might always be sanity. Hmm... That's a bad time to do all this climbing, though. But the good thing is I can always pop my... Ooh, that is a lot of energy use. Man, I really wish I had the snow boots. That would be super useful right about now. 
I'm gonna have to be sparing about using my skills when it comes to the death zone as well. Should be fine to do something like that. I may have to sleep here soon. Either that or eat. I'll probably just eat. A little early to sleep. Oh god, I hope I'm not getting myself into a place where I can't move. It's a lot of rubble around here. Okay... An encounter. I really want to go for that sun medallion, though. Here? That's still a pretty good amount of energy. And maybe I could just... I don't know about sleeping, though. I could maybe check the cave for something special. I'm gonna try and just go here. I don't want to run out of energy. Definitely eat a food here. Gives you 36 energy back and some body temperature because of my warm thoughts. Gotcha. Let's get up there. I think I have the climbing pickaxe or the climbing axe. Man, how much is it going to take to get over here? Oh, God, that is some risky terrain. All right, that means I'm going to pop another rope. That is just too risky, especially low energy like this. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be getting into any of those risky events. But I'm going to go check the cave. I'm not planning on sleeping here. But I definitely want to check and see if there's something in here. Maybe fireflies. Could definitely use some sanity. Please, something. Yo, there's a smell. Yes, sanity. Very little sanity. But sanity nonetheless. I'm not gonna lie down and sleep, I don't think. Well, let me see what my options are. I sleep briefly or sleep long. No, it's just, it's too much oxygen loss, even with the oxygen mask on. Damn, just leave it. Bubble up. What do we got here? Stay warm? More body temperature? I mean, body temperature is not a problem anymore. Oxygen per hour could be useful, but the sanity loss is pretty scary. What would that last for? 48 hours? But the sanity... You lose it permanently for the rest of the mission. That's pretty rough. Honestly, none of these are really that great. I guess I'll go with the stay warm. Because I don't think I'm going to be sleeping under the stars. I have a tent still. I still have a brand new tent. It's not even used. So that should be fine. Let's go up here. I wonder if I should go for that encounter. My rope is still on. Uh, preserve your breath is still for 16 hours. So that's pretty good. Yeah, my rope is still on, so I'm going to head over to this um, encounter over here. Yeah, that should be fine. Rope's still good? Yep. Good, good, good. Might as well go for it. Hope it's not something terrible. Maybe grab a sleep over here. Ooh, there's two sun medallions. That's fantastic. I think that's double sanity. Ooh, a vacuum flask of tea is half buried in the snow. Hmm. Well, I can't dig. I could take the tea, but I don't really need to. Yes. And quickly move on. It's too dangerous here. Well, I mean, it's experience. <laughs> sure. Who knows? Maybe I'll have body temperature problems, but probably not. I mean, these these gloves are fantastic. I don't even need this freaking hat anymore. That hat is not as good as my gloves. There's another sun medallion down there. That's way too far down. 
Yeah, that's that's too risky, I think. I think I might might go ahead and sleep here. Sleep long. Yeah, remember we have the oxygen bottle, which I may need. It is very possible. I could get the experience, but I'm going to lose a lot of oxygen if I do that. The cool thing is I can make oxygen bottles, I think. That was an option. Oh, this is horrible. The storm is the worst. But I know the sun medallion was this way, so I'm going to head this way. Yep, there it is. I see it. My god, that's a lot of energy usage. And then try and grab that other one, too. What is this? That's risky. No, I don't want to do that. That's like no energy usage. Hooray! Man, I can't see a damn thing. How do you get that thing? Hold on. I'm gonna temporarily put my flashlight on so I can see if we can see. There we go. Okay, so... What if I was to do this, this... This and that? Would that work? Yeah, but I'm gonna take my flashlight off and put my pick back on so that I can... See, because this is going to take 10.2 energy. If I put the climbing axe on, it takes 9.4. I mean, it's not really that much of a difference, but yeah, every little bit helps. This should give me some sanity. Do I want to pick up both of the sun medallions? That I'm not 100% sure of. Remember, I don't have my safety rope, so I might trigger this. Did. Damn it. Glissade. You march up a hill where the wind has left wavy patterns in the snow cover. Endless uniform. Hypnotized, you take one step after the other. Suddenly you slip and land on your behind. You slide down the slope at breakneck speed, your arms flailing widely. Finally you come to a stop, your heart pounding against your ribs. That was close. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Lost sanity, oxygen, and body temperature. Not the worst. I'm gonna get sanity back here, I think. I believe these are always sanity. Hopefully it's a really super good sanity. Oh, it's the comet! Hell yeah. Look at that. That's good sanity. Fantastic. See, that other sun medallion, was that the one? No, that's the one. No, wait, that's an encounter. Oh god, was that the one that was... that I was saying was right by this one? Couldn't be. Oh, we're almost at the summit. Holy crap. It's like freaking right here. Okay, so let's do this real quick. And you have to remember, getting to the summit is not the end. You have to get back down. You have to get to the camp. The camp is not in the beginning. It's just at some random location that you don't know. You don't know until you hit the summit. I think I'm going to pop that last food. Good. This could be rough. Thank god I got that climbing axe. I don't think you can make food. You can make oxygen bottles. There was something else he could make too, was it? Oh, health. So it's probably bandages more than likely. I wish I could just go this way. That would be super nice. Because that is like such a great elevation. Just stair stepping right up. But you can't do that because this is not a space. So I guess I'll just go here. Ooh. Definitely is going to take some energy. But it's fine. We're almost at the summit. I have no idea where the camp is going to be though. Maybe like down here somewhere? Hopefully it won't be in the death zone. We are way in the death zone, though. Like, super, super into the death zone. 6,800 meters? We're like 800 meters above the death zone. 
900 meters above the death zone. Yes, we made it. You made it. Your face was worn with effort, but your hard work was not in vain. The experiences you had and the information you have gathered about the mountain is bringing you step by step closer to your goal. But of course, you still have to make it to your destination. But you do get a massive boost to all your stats. Well, I would have hoped for more sanity, for sure. But I guess that's fine. Yeah, it was down there. That's what I figured. Okay. That's going to take some time to get to. Hmm. What's the best way to do it? Looking for points of interest along the way. There's something over there. I think that might be a cave? Looks like a cave, probably. Is there anything close? I mean, there's that encounter. Which might not be a bad idea. I could probably get a better vantage point over there. Actually, I can just use the eagle eye. Let's do that. And let's see if I can plan some kind of a route. Is there a way around here, or is that just a dead end? Oh, I think that might be a dead end. This space right here looks like a dead end. Hmm, yeah, that is a bad dead end. In fact, I don't even know how to get to this place. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. That is definitely not what I'm looking for. It's probably easier just to go this way. There's a nice big path here. And we could maybe make it to that cave. Yeah, let's try that. There's a nice little stair step down here. Oh, there's something here. Is that a cave as well? Ew, that is a lot of energy usage. Why is that so much energy usage? Not even that much climbing. Sure? I guess we'll do it. We need to descend as fast as possible. Get out of the death zone. Yeah, I think the two things he can make for energy are the climbing pickaxe, which I already have, and the um, the walking stick, which is not great either. I would get the free experience from my skill, but it's going to take so much time. I have a feeling I might lose too much oxygen. Well, I do have the bottle. Wait, what would I suffer if I use it right now? Just a lot of oxygen loss. Hmm. But what do I get for it again? 500 experience points? It's almost enough to level up. I'm gonna do it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. We're already, like, 600 meters above the death zone now? That's not bad. I don't think I'm going to be leaving the death zone here in this immediate area, though. I think this is all still in the death zone. Sadly. Let's check out this cave. Maybe it's got something that can give us that little last boost of experience. That would be super cool. Anything? There's a tunnel. Leading into darkness? Oh, I have a flashlight. I've got a flashlight. Box containing provisions? Oh, hell yeah. Food and drink? Yeah. Thank you very much. Actually, that food is perfect. Because that means I can just pop that food right now. Perfect. And we could pop the oxygen. Probably no reason not to. Sure. Level up. Fresh air. Intense movement. 
Let's just do take it slow. Take it slow is always a good one. Let's see here. I don't see any other points of interest, although there is that cave that's way in the distance. My god, is it way out there? Jeez, I didn't realize it was that far away. I mean, I knew it was far away, but I didn't think it was that far. Uh-oh. There's a lot of dead ends here. But it looks like we can kind of squeeze through just a little bit if we do something like that. That should be fine. And I'll probably pop the rope right here. Because I still have plenty of uses on those ropes. There's no reason not to use them. We're slowly making our way to the camp. And stop. Perfect. And pop that rope. That'll also give us another uh, inventory slot. Nice. And we're close to being out of the death zone, but it's just... It's not close enough. 240 meters is still really far. Maybe we could go for that encounter? I've still got the rope on, sure. I'm not worried about risky terrain with ropes on. With the safety rope on. Let's go. And away we go. Check out this encounter and see what it is. Maybe somebody wants to trade. I would give vacuum flasks of tea because I have so much body heat I don't even have to worry about it anymore. Oh, this is the guy that needs the the um shoulder reset oh my god that's so much freaking energy though but it is great for sanity which i do need yeah see he's the one that has the dislocated shoulder and he still gives me more sanity and the oxygen bottle which is Fine. Because, good sir, I am going to have to sleep right now because I ain't got no energy. I have one energy. Definitely time to sleep. Sleep long. Yeah, let's get lots of energy. We got. We don't have to worry about the oxygen. And I'll get a little boost of oxygen when I wake up. Just a little. That's not too bad. Like I said, that take it slow number two is pretty damn good. I could always pop the oxygen bottle that he just gave me, which might not be a bad idea. Is this a dead end? Oh my god, it is a dead end. That is the worst. I'm gonna have to go back this way and get around this direction. Which means a little bit of risky terrain. I'm not gonna pop another rope, though, because... It's just one little risky terrain. Yeah, we're fine. I think I might just pop the oxygen bottle, though. Let's go with it. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing real good. Although sanity is still not great. But I guess it's it's okay. We're just about to camp. I think it's like it's not super far away. Let's look up in the air. It's right over there, so it doesn't look too far away. It's actually pretty far. Let's use the eagle eye and see how far it is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty far. I don't know if just leading my way through this crevice here is a good idea, or if we should try and go over this mountain here. Probably this way would be better. Not a hundred percent sure, though. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. So I wonder if you can always make only the same things. 
every time or if it might be random sometimes like if i picked energy could he make something different or would it just be the two things that i already have it's probably just that try and find a way to not use too much energy here there's gonna be a lot of climbing here we're almost out of the death zone but also not really that afraid of the death zone really my oxygen is looking pretty damn good I can always craft oxygen bottles if I need to although I don't know what resources it takes to craft an oxygen bottle it might take way too much energy I'm not sure I didn't actually look at that wait do I even have my oxygen mask on oh yes I do I was like I sure hope I do I don't I crafted it for no reason There is a cave over here, which might not be a bad idea, because my tent only has one durability left on it, so... Or one use. So maybe we can make it to that cave? It's not too far. I was hoping I don't run out of energy. Do I have food left? Hold on. No, I used up all my food. Okay, that's what I thought. Go, go, go. Okay, now we made it past this little hump here. We should be getting out of the death zone here very soon, I think. But I have a bad feeling I'm going to go right back into the death zone. Okay. Do I hear thunder? Yeah, maybe. No, it does seem to be storming out there. Can I use Eagle Eye again? Yes, I can. I'm gonna do that because I kind of want to see what it looks like here let me use the V key there we go so it's right over there so basically if we just keep going this way I think we can just kind of take the back route of course there's the more direct route which is right through this like bulbous little mountain there this thing but that's a lot of death zone travel and I don't think I want to do that. There is a cave and an encounter there, so I'm very interested in trying to get those. Alright, so I think we head for the cave first, because I am pretty low on energy. Oh, shoot. I don't even think I can make it th to the cave from here. Nope. This is a dead end. Shoot, I can't get there from here either. Wait, yes I can. You just have to go around. Okay, that's not the worst. Let's try something like this and that for now. Oh, this is going to be out of the death zone. This is going to be right back in the death zone. So we're going to be out of the death zone for two tiles. Or is that out of the death zone? Nope, that's still in the death zone by 16 meters. That right there is out of the death zone. Yep, 5984. And then right back in the death zone. Just for a little bit, though. Yeah, I know, death zone. Yep, 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 yep. I gotcha. It's alright, dude, don't worry. We're gonna try and get to that cave. It's gonna get dark. Which is fine. We don't have to worry about body temperature. Our body temperature falls very slowly because we have plenty. Those, like, improved warm gloves are super good. This is a little risky. Man, look at all of this freaking risky terrain here. I may pop a rope after I sleep just to go get that encounter. Maybe. Maybe. I could get the encounter now, but I really feel like sleeping is probably a better idea. Since I'm very low on energy. And let's just sleep for free in this cave. It's gonna be a death zone sleep, which sucks, but uh, yeah, what can you do? I can always craft an oxygen bottle anyway. What you got? Just a cave? That's fine. Sleep long? Yeah, it should be fine. Remember, if you sleep in a cave, you don't use your tents. 
But you also don't get penalized for sleeping on the ground, because you're not sleeping on the ground. You're sleeping in a cave. You know what, I might just try and take this pretty easily here. Because I've got that... What if I did something like... Wait, what? What the hell? No, 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 damn it. Oh well, it's fine. I'm trying to figure out if I can take all this super risky terrain here. Like that. But, beforehand, pop a rope. There we go. Just so I can take a nice, uh, quick route to that encounter. What will this encounter be? I don't know. Hopefully something for sanity. That would be nice. Because I've still got a long way to go before the camp. We will be out of the death zone very soon, though. Ooh, a saddlebag lying. On the ground right next to it, discover faded hoof prints. Oh, yeah. This is usually good. A tent. Okay, I will take a tent. I will not say no to a tent. Because my tent was about to be used up anyway. What is that? Is that sanity? Oh, oh, it's sanity. That's fantastic. Good. I definitely need to go for that. I still have my rope for another five hours. So I don't have to worry about risky train. Let's go. Yeah, see, I don't even think that ice labyrinth is going to actually do anything. Ooh, I do worry if this is going to be a way to move around, though. And what was that other thing that I wanted to grab? Oh, maybe there was nothing out there. Doesn't appear to be anything. There's another cave over here. But now that I found that tent, I don't really need another cave. I'd be super fine using the tents. That would be fine with me. Back out of the death zone. That is fantastic. Now let's see if we can stay out of the death zone for a bit. Maybe build up some oxygen. Be able to freaking breathe. Oh yeah, please be sanity. Lots of sanity. Lots of sanity. I'm hoping for like 20 sanity? 20 sanity. Nice. And I'm actually going to... Do I want to pop this right now? I would just lose some body temperature. That doesn't really bother me that much. Yeah, go for it. And I will gain oxygen now that I'm out of the death zone. Thank God. Ugh. This is not great. Okay, let's uh, let's use the eagle eye again. I use that skill so much. It's so useful. Okay, so that's where it is. Right over there on the other side of this peak right here. So maybe just kind of skirting around the... Oh, wait, I don't even think that's going to work. I mean, it might... It might kind of work. Hold on. Well, what does it say? If I was to get here... Okay, yeah, it's saying to go back around. I don't think there's any way to get here from there. Okay. I wasn't actually going to make that because it's a very, very risky amount of energy to use. I just wanted to see what it was saying, what I would need to do. Should I pop another rope? I am running out of ropes. I think I'm going to, though. I still have two uses on it, I think. Yeah, still two uses. Let's do it. Because I, I really hate the, the icicle ones. They can usually, like, puncture your torso or something with an icicle. And that's a really bad one. And back in the death zone. Good. I just cannot save oxygen for the life of me. I am having trouble with energy, too. Great. Okay. That'll take a lot of energy, but... We're going to need to go around this way anyway. I don't think there was any other way to do it. I could maybe go this way, but it seems like more climbing. This is just like a nice little stair step. That deep snow. I wonder if the deep snow... 
if safety rope really does neg neg yeah, negate the effects of deep snow. Is that double deep snow? That's terrible. Yeah, it looks like it negates it completely. Like, I'm using, like, no energy to get through that deep snow. It's fantastic. Thank you, safety rope. Appreciate it. I don't have a problem with sleeping, though. With that brand new tent? Hell yeah, I will sleep again. That is not a problem. We are almost at the camp anyway. We are very close. As you can see, it's right down there. Now, the thing is... What would it take to get to here? We can just go that way? Okay. Or... No, this doesn't look super great, but I think there might be a way this way. Hold on, I'm gonna use Eagle Eye again. Or not, because it's not here. Damn it. It's still on cooldown. Shoot. Well, I guess I'll go over here and see if I can get it off of cooldown. Come on, Eagle Eye, you have zero hour cooldown, come on. There we go. Got it, it's perfect. Bam. I want to see if there is a way to get through this, even though it's kind of risky. Oof. I mean, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but it looks like it might work. It certainly isn't pretty, though. I think it'll be fine. This is dangerous, right? Yeah, but I've still got more rope usage. So, let's do it. Let's get as far as we can. Get as much out of this rope as possible. And then rest when we need to. It's getting pretty risky. And this is not exactly where I want to rest, because I'm still in the death zone. So I certainly don't want to be resting in the death zone, but I don't really have a choice. Okay, I can still make it up there, that's fine. Because unfortunately, I don't have an oxygen bottle anymore. But the good thing is, I will be getting out of the death zone tomorrow, I think. I don't think I can go any further. I have like four energy. And I certainly, well, I could go this way too, which would get me out of the death zone quicker, I think. Yeah, death zone is out here. That might be not a bad idea. And then it's just a nice little easy open, super open path going down there to the camp. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I'm going to try and go as far as I possibly can, though. Using up as much energy as possible. Can I take one more step? Yep. I doubt that I can do this, though. So yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. So we'll just rest here. Take a nice little sleep in our... That's not my only tent, right? No, okay, good. Phew. I was a little worried there. Sleep long. I'm gonna lose a lot of oxygen. And remember, I do get that little burst at the end. So watch the oxygen. See the little burst? It's not much, but it's something. It's not a whole lot, though. We did lose the tent completely. That's fine. Okay, and we are planning on getting out of this death zone. Remember, in the cold, body temperature loss is increased, which doesn't really bother me that much. Not at all. I am very low on oxygen. But like I said, we're planning on getting out of this death zone anyway, so let's just get out of it. I don't want to use up too much energy, though. Sanity is not looking great either, but we're almost to the camp anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. This should be the death zone out. Oh, we're already out of the death zone. Fantastic. Probably going to end up going right back into it. Can only imagine. Because this is a dead end right here, so I got to go around this way. God, I can't even see a damn thing. Hold on. Let me equip that flashlight. 
Okay, so if I go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way... Yeah, as long as I can get to, like, right here, everything is smooth sailing from there, I think. And that's just deep snow. That's not the worst. Sure, let's go for it. I don't even think I'm going to get into the death zone, really. 59, 52... What's the height of this one right here? 59.84. Whoa, that was close to the death zone. I want to try and stay out of the death zone so I can get my breath back. I could always craft another oxygen tank, but that takes a lot of time. And a lot of energy. And we're so close to the camp. I probably don't even need any of these, these points of interest at all. Because we're so close to the camp, all we gotta do is just get there and we're done. And then we'll be the journalist for the next mountain. Whoa. There's two medallions down there? Tempting. But there's nothing I really need right now. I mean, it looks like I need oxygen, but I really don't. I am gaining oxygen very fast. Now that we're out of the death zone. <laughs> The only reason we didn't have oxygen was because we were right smack in the death zone for a very long time, I might add. And dancing in and out of the death zone, which I call the dance of death. <laughs> mm, let's go this way. I might not even have to sleep. Like, the camp is like right here. Pretty sure I can get there even on the amount of energy that I have right now. I think. Maybe not. Although I must tell you, I would much rather not trigger critical events, especially at the end. So if I can get away with not triggering critical events, I'll definitely do that. But it looks like I might be able to make it. Got it. Perfect. Very nice. We have reached your goal, or you have reached your goal. Your body feels weak, but your heart is jumping for joy. You know that the mountain is a merciless foe, but this time around, you have defeated it. Yes. And remember, I'm not playing this on easy either. I'm playing this on the medium difficulty. Because I found easy to be just... Far too easy. Just far too easy. Or normal or something. I think this is the difficult... Um... Mode. I think normal is easy. And it feels just far too easy to me. I love these kind of games, though, where you, where you have ample time to plan what you want to do and everything. It's not like a Twitch reaction or anything. Oh my god. Is that more capacity? Oh. And stuff unlocked. Ooh, an oxygen mask. Nice. I don't know how much an oxygen mask cost, but that might not be a bad idea to have. You always have to go in the death zone, I believe. All the time. Bravo. Your alpine skills are most impressive. I wouldn't last a day out there. Well, I mean... It's not easy. <laughs> Certainly not easy. We get a little bit more terrain knowledge, which is good. What do I find the most problematic? Improved protection from terrain interruption events? Yes. Definitely. 10%. That's good. And... I th think I'd say ice. Ice is the worst terrain. It... It does make you have to use the most energy. Then snow, then rock. So I'm going to go with ice. And that should go to 10% as well. Reduced energy cost. Very nice. And let's go check that oxygen mask. Of course it would have to be 20, wouldn't it? 
Well, I could actually take it though. What does the safety helmet do? Just health loss and events? That's not such a big deal. Climbing gloves. Oh damn, those climbing gloves are really good. Just negative 10% energy cost on all terrain? That's pretty damn good. They're very expensive though, because they're good, you know? There's the fur hat. So what if I got rid of a rope and another rope, which gives me a 30 capacity. Damn. Hmm. I mean, the climbing rope is really nice, too. Like, negative 40% energy cost on all terrain for three hours is super freaking good. I mean, I could do something like this. Get an oxygen bottle, just in case we don't get oxygen bottles. This is like a nice little well-rounded kit to start out with. Granted, I suppose you don't even really need the food. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Let's try that. And then the uh, next side mission, shall we? See, and then we'll go for mountain number two. You need to find out what effect it has on the amulet. Oh, it doesn't even say, like, what... How big this mountain is, but obviously this is mountain one. You can tell the difference in height of mountain two versus mountain three, which is massively huge. And I think all these submissions will be kind of like Mountain 2. So all these submissions are kind of like Mountain 1. And you see how far the summit was in the one we just did. Can you even imagine Mountain 2? Crazy. Oh shit, I messed up. This was supposed to be the journalist, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, maybe it just changes. Maybe it just just random. So it looks like we get to be the scientist again. Eerie surroundings. Shadows and noises follow you on this route. Ew. More sanity loss. Lots of stormy weather too, so lots of energy loss. Okay, I mean, I don't think it's going to be great. When finished with the scientist, you get extra terrain of proficiency. Hell yeah. Yeah, I guess we could be just be, just be the scientist again. I thought it was going to be the journalist, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, the climbing rope's probably going to be super good for the stormy weather. Eerie surroundings. I mean, maybe it makes more sense to get rid of the... Uh, I don't know. If I get rid of the energy, I could bring a moon herb just for more sanity, because I think sanity is going to be a problem. Yeah, let's do that. Since it's got the eerie noises in there, I've never actually seen that uh, modifier. So this should be interesting. This will be different. I don't think you're going to be able to hear the eerie noises, but it is going to modify your sanity. Which sounds kind of scary. There is a new task waiting for you. A new challenge to master. You head out again into the unknown. It's immediately storming, of course. Right. Just immediately storming, so I can't get any kind of bearing on what I'm doing here. I just have to reach the summit. I can't even see the summit. I have absolutely no idea where it is. I can't even look in the sky and see the sparkles because it is storming. Shoot. But look, there's an encounter, like, right here. I mean, there's no reason not to go to this. Do it. There's absolutely no reason not to not to pop that right now. The problem is, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Ew, the spiders won. Well, there never seems to be a reason or a bad thing that happens for reaching the hole, as far as I can tell. They just never even skitter. They skitter over your hands, but they never hurt you. And I got nothing. But I did get experience. That's a good chunk of experience. Sure. I'll just pop this and get a level up right away. Warm thoughts. 
Mm. Controlled breathing. Take it slow. Let's go with take it slow. Take it slow always gives you a burst of everything. Energy, body temperature, oxygen, waking up. It doesn't give you sanity, though. That's the worst thing about it. I wish it did give you a little burst of sanity, too. I have absolutely no idea where this summit is. I wouldn't even chance a guess. Maybe over here somewhere? My god, there's no way we can see it. Oh, man, there's so many medallions here. You know what? I think we're just going to stay in this lower region for a little while. There are so many points of interest over here. We, we've got to hit them all. Tons of items. It looks like two items in a row, pretty much. Is that an ice labyrinth? It is not. Ugh. Yeah, that's much better. I really don't want to get on that risky train. Remember, I didn't bring, like, a crap load of ropes this time. But the thing also didn't warn me that there was going to be a lot of risky train, so it's probably just average amount of risky train. So we should be fine. Alright, let's see what this item is. Is it good? Oh, it's this guy, isn't it? So I can try to talk to him? He's always a, a bastard, though, isn't he? Gives you a stern look, looks like he's alive. Oh, he doesn't seem like he hates me. Well, this would be nice. But I ask him if he needs any help. Yeah, he's always such an asshole. So I lose a little bit of sanity, but I do gain some experience, so hell yeah. I'll take that. Controlled breathing's nice. Yeah, let's grab controlled breathing. It's really good. I mean, oxygen is always something that you're gonna need, for sure. Not in the beginning. Like, when you first play this, you're like, why would you ever take controlled breathing? Look at you, you're just gaining oxygen all the time. That's because you're not in the death zone. Once you're in the death zone, you are in trouble. Oh shit, I didn't even take my oxygen mask either. I mean, I guess I could make one. Right now, I don't think I'm going to worry about it, though. Actually, I might craft those gloves again. There's no reason not to, right? The warm gloves? That does take a lot of energy. Sure. There's no reason not to. Oh god, it is very dark. I do not have a flashlight. Oh boy. We'll just go slow. Go nice and slow. Hope there's going to be more of those sanity gaining things. So what is this? In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here? I search for clues as to who is buried here, or I reflect and pay tribute to the dead. I th think I'm gonna pay tribute. That probably will give me sanity. Whoever that poor soul was who lost their life up here, they shouldn't be disturbed. After a brief stop, you move on. Sanity? Yeah, sanity. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was hoping that would give me sanity, because I have a bad feeling that sanity is going to be rough on this mountain. I may just use my food here. Oh god, everything is getting pretty bad. can't see anything. I can only see two steps ahead of me. This is awful. I hope I don't end up in a freaking dead end. Eat these stupid storms, that's an ice labyrinth. That should be fine. Though moving around at night is not a great idea. Oh man, I did end up in a dead end, didn't I? Yep, sure did. Every one of these spaces is a dead space. Damn it. Double back. What a waste of a stepping on a ice labyrinth. 
But that's the thing, that you just never know in these storms. You just, you can't see very well. That's going to take a lot of energy because it's deep snow, but that's fine. Let's get up here, not step on that. This looks like it'll probably give sanity. I think these Sun Medallions always give sanity. Pretty sure about that. Which... How do I get it? Right there? Okay. Yeah, there we go. There's another one down there, too. Oh, yeah, look, the Northern Lights. Yeah, look at all that sanity. Holy shit. And a level up. Nice. Controlled breathing is super good, too. That's controlled breathing, too. Or take it slow, too? Hmm. Man, that's a tough one. I think I'll take the take it slow, too, just because it boosts more stuff. And I've already got the first controlled breathing, so that's that's okay. God, I don't know where to go anymore. Maybe I'll just try this way. I'm hoping the storm is going to break soon. It should break really soon. That deep snow? Yeah, let's just go this way. I think day's going to break right here on this space, which would be fantastic because it's going to be clear. Thank God, yes. Look at that. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just a shadow. It's a shadow with weird little snow things that, like, disappeared. See, they, like, disappear. I was like, is that a ghost? Because remember, there was eerie noises here, so I don't know if there's actual ghosts or something. Probably not, though. Let's go to this encounter and see who, can, who we can meet here. Who could it be? As you gaze around, you notice a faint light. Oh, it's the, the light that's flitting back and forth. Let's approach it carefully. You see a meandering mountaineer. He seems tense and appears to have lost his way. You aren't sure whether or not you should offer to help him. Well, let's offer to help him. The stranger is uncertain, staring hard at you. He takes a few quick steps back and then disappears without a word, behind some rocky peaks. Oh, well, at least I tried. I tried. Whatever. It's fine. This looks like a longer way, but it also looks very much more, very much less risky than that way. Um, here, here. Yeah, let's do that. Just kind of try and get over here and get those medallions real quick. Like I was saying before, I think they're actually called point of interest, but I just call them medallions because they, they look like medallions. Or medals or whatever. Hmm. Well, shit. Oh, wait, I can probably see the summit now. Let's use Eagle Eye. Now I can actually figure out where the freak we're supposed to go. Oh my god, wow, that's really far away. Holy crap. Yeah. No wonder I couldn't see it in the storm. It is so far away, there was no chance of seeing that through the storm. Well, don't do that. Why would you do that? That's dumb. It's probably because this takes less energy. Because rock does take less energy than ice, for sure. Oh my god, am I going to get stuck here? A little bit. You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Bootprints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern and disappear behind a rock. So we can follow the tracks, losing some energy, or search the backpack, losing some sanity. I'm going to lose the energy. You grab the backpack and follow the tracks. You spot a tent sheltered from the wind between two sheer rock faces. You can hear loud snoring coming from inside. You cautiously approach. Suddenly, a bleary-eyed, haggard face pops out of the tent flap. The snorer smiles at you as they spot the backpack in your outstretched hand. Yeah. The stranger takes the backpack and reaches inside. They rummage around and pull out a can of food, which they offer to you. 
you aren't sure if you should accept the gift after all the stranger is thin as a rail and probably needs the food more than you do um what would this be lots of sanity i mean that's pretty good there's more experience in this one though i'm gonna go with this one i do feel like sanity is going to be the bigger problem and i do already have a can of food yep this is a dead end completely shoot i was gonna sneak around and grab this sun medallion here but I think we'll just go this way instead. Oh, that's a... Oh, wait, okay. Phew. Thought that was a dead end, too, but no, that's just normal ice. Good. It would be kind of nice if the dead ends would, like, glow red. Um, not like all the time, because then you could plan your path super easily with the eagle eye, but like when you're close to it, if it would glow red, just so you know that you can't use it. What is this one? You lean back against rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear. Oh yeah, this one. That's right. This should be for sanity. Yeah. Oh yeah, duh. It's a freaking sun medallion, of course. Explore the mountain. More experience gain in events. That's not bad, except for my events are kind of done right now fresh air that's when oxygen is above 60 percent it's just time cost on all terrain i don't really care about that if it was energy cost i'd go for it but the controlled breathing is great all right this is gonna be risky yeah that's what i figured that's also risky damn it well fine we'll just walk across this yep that's good Remember, we have an even 10% reduced uh, chance of triggering those things anyway. Trying to see if there's any metal medallions over there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think there is. Alright, well, I think it's time to head on up the mountain. <laughs> Let's see, what's going to be the easiest way to do this? Probably going this way. So let's go there to here for now. A lot of ice travel. This is probably pretty dumb. It's going to cost a lot of energy. Although I guess it's not that bad. It wasn't ice climbing. Ice climbing is the worst. Yeah, look at that. We're using very little energy. But now we're going to start using energy because we got to climb. I wonder if it's possible that I'm using no energy when doing this. I do. I, you, I lose no energy. Walking across rocks. That's awesome. It's good to know. Uh, this isn't too bad of a climb. So let's just kind of get started here. Gotta start somewhere. That's one thing you'll know about this game, though. You'll start to realize about this game. That is a lot of freaking snow. That is just a shitload of snow. I don't like how much snow that is. If we want to save energy, we're gonna go this way. I don't see any caves, so I might just rest in a tent. Maybe we could do something like this? Yeah, that should be fine. That's not too bad. And remember, this one right here is still our sanity boost. We get sanity per hour when moving, which I think it just ends up being zero sanity loss, pretty much. Because remember, the spooky mountain is causing us to lose 0.5 sanity per hour when moving. Oh shit, the basic values is 1.9 sanity per hour when moving. 
Well, never mind. We're definitely not losing zero. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what are we losing? 0.4 for that little move? It's not great. Okay, let's keep going this way. Let's see if we can get to that item. That'd be really nice. And I think there was something... Well, there's an encounter over there, but that's really far away. Probably just going to head up to this item next. Don't think there's much else. Boy, that's so far away. That's the one thing you'll realize about this game. Is it really... It really makes uh, you feel like the mountain really is larger than life, you know? Because everything really looks so far away, but you will get there. I can't dig out the chest. I have no energy. Wait, can I? I have no food. I forgot to bring food. Shit. I will. Too bad. That sucks. Let me make my way towards that item. Actually, I might just want to rest here. It's actually probably a good idea. Let's do that. It is dark. We don't want to lose too much body temperature. Good. And it's storming, which is very bad. Yeah, now that I think about it, I really should have just taken the food. Energy is going to be a problem. Uh, let's pop that so we can get some experience. And I might... Oh, I don't know. Body temperature is not a huge problem right now. You know what? I'm going to craft... Um... Oh, you can go back. Yeah, oh wait. Yeah, you can craft a climbing rope too. Improved climbing axe. Really now? How good is that? Ooh, negative 15% energy cost. Hmm. That is a shitload of energy. It's probably worth it. I wonder what else he can craft. So you can actually look at everything. Let's see. This. So oxygen... You can get an improved oxygen mask. What? Shoot, I had no idea. You can craft oxygen bottles, oxygen mask, improved oxygen mask. Gotcha. Health. I want to see what he can craft for health. Yep, bandage. Protective helmet or improved protective helmet. Interesting. And we already found out about the body temperature one. Oxygen, energy. I guess I'll do the energy. It's a lot of energy to, to build the climbing axe, though. It's probably worth it, though. We're going to do a lot of climbing. There is a lot of climbing to be done. And hopefully that will cost us... Or it will not cost us as much energy. Remember, there's also the storm, which means energy cost for climbing is increased. Not energy cost in general, just for climbing. Can I still do this for no energy? Yeah. Nice. Maybe it's always like that? I'm not... Ugh, damn it. really don't want to do the risky terrain. But I guess I'll do it. It's only 1.1 energy loss. Not bad. Good. And that's 4.1? Ouch. It's a big difference. It's not even that much of a of a elevation difference, really. This deep snow. <sighs> oh god! The, oh, double deep snow. Oh, the worst. Hope this item doesn't need me to have energy, because I sure don't have energy. Unless, maybe we stop here. Take another quick rest. And by quick rest, I mean long rest. 
and then get the en uh, the item. That way, if it needs energy, it might be fine. I don't know if it's going to need energy, but you never know. Oh, it's this one. Yes, this does need energy. Sure. Nice. Oh, and it gave me energy. That's fantastic. Good. And a tent. I will take it. Bam. Good. Okay, so there is a medallion over there. It's a cave. Not really too interested in that. Ah, oh, deep snow, of course. It's fine. See, the funny thing is, even though we barely even made any progress, I bet the summit's not that far away anymore. Yeah, see, it's starting to come into view. Shoot, I can't get away. I can't get through here. I would have to climb into this deep snow. Ugh, definitely not. Not great. I don't think I have much of a choice. My choices are climb up into this deep snow or go all the way around, and that's probably going to be more energy. Alright, let's go this way. Is this an ice labyrinth? No, that's... No, no, no. Damn it. Didn't mean to walk on it. But that's fine. There's a shrine and a cave and... A... Item. Another shrine. Another item. Another shrine. And that looks like an encounter. An item and an encounter. Wow, this is... Pretty rich with medallions, I won't lie. There's two caves over here, too. Okay, I think the first thing we should go for is maybe this shrine? I can even get there. Uh-oh. Can I? Actually, maybe we'll go down here first. This looks a little bit more reachable, and I think I can get to the shrine from over here. This is just way too much blocked terrain. Far too much. What would I want from this shrine? Energy. Energy or sanity, I think, would be great. That would be nice. Let's see. I go down... Don't go through the ice labyrinth. Why would you do that? Do this instead. It's way smarter. I may actually just drop off in this cave and sleep. Might not be a bad idea. Because I think I've almost used my tent up completely. Yeah, because I've used it twice. There's only three uses on it. That's rough. Oh, wait, I did find another tent, though. I don't know. Maybe. Sanity or warmth? Well, I did say I wanted sanity. Sanity's fine. Sure. We don't have our sanity buff anymore, so yeah. I guess I could pop in here and maybe sleep. Well, that's risky terrain. That's not really what I'm looking for, but it should be fine. Do a real quick sleep. It's going to be nice and clear tomorrow, too, so that's fantastic. Maybe we can get a ton of energy here. He does have a lot of energy. Because if you look at this, he's got 120 energy. You only start with 100. So I have, bu I have buffed his maximum up. Should I follow the noises? I don't have a flashlight, but maybe I don't need one? It is very dark. Yeah, there's no flashlight. Lose sanity or just return to the cave entrance? I mean, it's just a little bit of sanity. Let's try it. See what happens. You wait for a moment, but nothing. Just endless darkness and bitter cold. What were you thinking? Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we found something. Hey, we found a bandage, and we bumped our knee. Damn. Plus 30% energy cost on all terrain for 16 hours. That sucks. 
What did I do, though? Let me see here. Yep, suddenly your knee hit something hard, so we did bump our knee. Damn it. That's fine. It's probably not the worst. Do I need bandages? Probably not. Plus, the thing I'm not worried about is it's 16 hours. I am planning on sleeping. And I want to sleep long, which is 10 hours. We'll just sleep off our bumped knee. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, and then see if I can get to this item. That is a bad way of going. Is there no better way? Ooh. Jeez. Maybe there is no better way. What about... Jeez, so much risky terrain. You know what? I'm gonna use a safety rope. Screw it. Let's do it. Go. Go, go, safety rope. Actually, pause, too. Well, no, 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 no. Never mind, don't pause. <laughs> Let's use the rope first. I was like, let's do this, but that takes four hours, so that would waste my whole entire rope. Damn it, I should have done it first, though. I could have... I could have done my analysis right through my bumped leg. Bumped knee. It's fine. Ruin Station. At the foot of a slope, you stumble across the remains of a building. Did it belong to the occupying forces? Parts of it are completely buried under rock. There must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices and small metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Yeah, I mean, it's not that much body heat lost. Yeah, it should be fine. You walk across the rubble, keeping an eye out for anything useful. You spot a hollow underneath a boulder. Something in there glints as the light falls across it. You carefully reach your hand into the gap and try to grab it. You brush it with your fingertips once, twice. Got it. Provisions. Definitely worth it. Is it food? It's food. Fantastic. I will take that food. I was going to pop it right now, but uh, no, my, my energy is looking okay. Level up. What do we want? You know, mindfulness might not be a bad idea. Since... Sanity is going to be a problem on this mountain. Yeah, let's do it. It's for, what, 48 hours, I think? Yeah, 48 hours. That's pretty good. Whenever you reach a point of interest, you gain sanity. I mean, it's not a ton of sanity, but it's something. Do I still have my rope? I do, because this is gross terrain. Look at that double risky terrain. Gross. Please tell me I'm still going to have my rope when I have to make that journey back. I might make it differently, though. I only did that because I had a rope. I don't think you should ever go double risky train like that. You're just asking for pain. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. Oh, I've never seen this before. I stay and look around, which gives me body temperature. Fine. Climb over the antenna and continue my journey. Or I take a detour and continue my journey. Hmm. Maybe I should stay and look around. Let's see. As you clamber over the iron struts, you notice an open crate amidst all the scrap metal. You lie on your belly to reach it and fish out a few provisions. As you try to back up, you lose your balance, falling forward and gashing your knee. God damn it, I cannot stop hurting my knee. Another 16 hour injured leg. Sucks. And all that for a free content that I probably can't even hold. Oh, I can barely hold it. Ha! Ah. Good. Well, we are set for tents for life. Pretty much. What is that over there? Shrine? Hmm. I think I might just let that shrine go because it's a little far away. Plus, I've got this shrine here. How do you want me to get that? That way. That's what I figured. I don't think there's any other way to get it, really. Is that? No, there's definitely a blank space in between. Damn it. My rope wore out. Uh, I'm going to find a different way to go. 
Let's try something like that. We can get around this risky terrain here. I don't want to use another rope. Only got the three uses, so yeah. Let's try and keep them. Oh, right. I should probably do this, too. Just pop. There we go. Free experience. Also, I could do some crafting. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. How much energy is this going to take? Oh, that's a lot of energy. But it would give me the improved climbing axe. Sure. Probably a decent trade. Now we just get straight up negative 15% energy cost on any height difference, pretty much. Pretty good, honestly. Really good for climbing. Oh, there's going to be nightfall. That should be fine. Actually, what's... What's stopping me from just using a freaking tent? Even though I still have a lot of energy, I have so many tents. I really need to use one up anyway. This one will be used up, which will be great. So we'll just sleep long, sleep through the night, be fine. You don't lose sanity while you're sleeping, so that's good. Oh shoot, it's gonna storm tomorrow? Blech. That's not good. Well, this is unpassable terrain. That sucks. Is that a dangerous terrain? No. Alright, let's head this way. Ugh. Might have to do a little bit of climbing. But as long as we can get the climbing done before it storms, that shouldn't be too bad. Is this risky? Yeah, I think so. Or no, these are ice labyrinths. Aren't they? Yes, they are. Three energy. Body temperature. 3.9. 4.5 body temperature. Yeah, those ice... Ice Labyrinths suck for body temperature. But you know what? We'll go this way. I think that's the safer way. Because these are double yellow exclamation point risky terrain. The blue ones never trigger any bad events. They just use up a lot more of whatever resource. Wait. Does the rock even have blue? Hold on a second. Let me see here. I want to see if the rock does have blue. No, it doesn't. Yeah, there's rock, rubble, or grass. No special properties. No special properties for rock. But rubble can trigger dangerous events. Yeah, see, deep snow just requires higher energy cost. And ice labyrinth requires higher time and body temperature. Oh, so it's time and body temperature. Makes sense. I mean, it's a freaking labyrinth, right? Okay. I might head over to the shrine, because it's actually looking really close now. God, there's so much freaking rubble around, though. I'm going to have to be careful, because I don't want to use up too much energy. Remember, climbing on ice is the most energy usage. My god, everything is fucking rubble! Oh man, that is rough. That is a lot of rubble. Maybe I can just go around this way? If I can just trigger one... ...risky terrain, that would be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Please don't trigger the event. Please? Yeah, that's, how, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Alright, let's see what this shrine is. I would hope for sanity. Energy would also be okay. Sanity? Ooh, sanity. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Good stuff. Okay, so that is blocked. I want to get over to this other shrine. That's yellow. Yeah, I figured. Let's just go this way. Probably won't trigger the rubble, right? Probably. Sure, it won't happen. Yeah, see, we're good. Still got that mindfulness. 
Man, that sanity loss is rough, though. This mountain is no freaking joke. Can we see the summit even through the storm? Kind of. You can tell it's right there. Sort of. So it's, it's still really far away, though, for sure. That actually doesn't. That's not that bad for energy at all. Wow, this this improved climbing pickaxe is super good. Honestly, I think it was worth it, even though it cost a lot of energy to craft it because you had to you had to craft the first one and then the improved one. Either that, or you could just hope to find a normal one and then craft an improved one. Because I don't think you can find those improved things. Uh, but honestly, they're kind of amazing. I didn't even know it was a thing. It's super cool, though. Hey, Shrine, if you could give me some energy... That would be super fantastic. Oh man, there's two medallions over here too, but I don't know, those those are a little further away than I want to go, I think. Maybe just head for this item next. Let's see what the shrine is. will give. Please, energy? Or sanity, I would take sanity too. Sanity is also fine. Although I'm going to get a little boost of sanity because of this. It's only three sanity, so it's not great. Ooh, sanity, hell yeah. That is full sanity. Well, pretty close to full. Good. I will take it. Do we go with the risky train and very low energy or climb for more energy? Probably do the climbing. Honestly, I'm not like super good. Like I've injured my leg twice on this mission already. And I probably don't want to get another injured leg. This guy is just super clumsy on this mountain for some reason. I guess maybe it's just karma coming back. It's basically like the mountain saying, Hey, you didn't have anything bad happen on your last mountain trip. How about... Wouldn't it be... Oh, that, God, that's a lot of energy. Shit, that deep snow hurt. I didn't imagine that was going to take that much energy. Jeez. This is Deep Snow 2, but since there's an item, I don't think the Deep Snow counts. Though it might, I don't know. Disturbed Snow. The snow under your feet is turned up, as if recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? So I can dig deeper, losing lots of energy, or dig around just beneath the surface and not even lose energy at all. I'm gonna dig deep. Let's see what we can find. We've got inventory space. But who buried the crate here? Ooh, a crate. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I'll take it. Another oxygen bottle. I do have to remember I have these moon herbs, too. I may need those. The good thing is I have moon herbs and bandages to heal my health. Because remember, moon herbs hurt your health. I was thinking of maybe using the canned food, but probably not. It's getting close to dark anyway. Oh, it's going to storm two days in a row? That sucks. Super soaky. We are getting very close to the death zone, too. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Just in case anybody thought, well, maybe we'll get away without being in the death zone. No, it's coming. It is coming, I just don't know when. That looks risky. It's only one, though, so I'll take the risk. Like I said, I'd like to use the safety rope when there's a whole bunch in a row. I'm gonna try and get to this encounter. Shit. The rocky slope. The terrain slopes down in front of you. It is completely covered with boulders and fragments of rock, so we can climb over the rock for a lot of energy, or turn around and take a detour. No, I'll, I'll take the detour. You test the rocks, but there are some major red flags here. One false move and you could start an avalanche. It would be better to find a detour. Yeah, definitely safer. And I don't have to use up so much energy, thank god. I may just go ahead and rest once I get this encounter anyway. We got plenty of tents. I still have two tents. 
and none of them have been used at all. So that's fantastic. So that's, what, six tent uses? That's huge. Oh, there's a goat. You encounter a common mountain goat. It's nibbling on some herbs. I chase it away, I approach it in a friendly manner, I feed it some canned food, or I walk past it. Oh, what would happen if I feed it canned food? Probably just sanity, more than likely. I'll just approach it in a friendly manner, see what happens. The goat looks at you blankly. You decide to continue walking. Well, I mean, it's experience. I'll take it. Under the stars, probably don't need that. What is that? Can't stop now. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Ugh, I don't know. I mean, the sanity per hour is nice when moving, but I'm planning on resting. <laughs> For 16 hours, huh? Oof. Negative two sanity per hour when resting or in, in events. Yeah, no, that's real bad. I guess I'll just take the under stars. I mean, I don't need it, but I'll take it because the other ones are terrible. I don't want anything that's going to make me cause sanity loss. Sanity is going to be a problem in this mission for sure. Is that nice, Labyrinth? Yeah, it's fine. We'll try and push on as far as we can. Actually, I may just, I may just camp in this ice labyrinth because, I mean, why not, right? Sleep long, go. And we're just outside the death zone, so this would be the perfect place to camp. Get some energy back and push on to the death zone. It is coming. It's probably like right around here. It might even be right here. Nope, that's not the death zone. Although, where is that summit? I think it's... I think it's over there? I can't tell. I can't see the freaking beam. It's too snowy. Too stormy. Alright, let's just walk slowly. See if we can get that beam. Oh, hold on a second. I'm not in the death zone right now, so I'm going to pop my analysis right now. What, what will it do? It's not even going to hurt me. It's just going to just a bunch of experience points. Cool. Uh, do I need anything here? What could he craft with energy? It was just the pickaxe. Oh, it was the... Ooh, the climbing rope, though. I do have one of those, but having an extra one may not be a bad idea. Well, I don't have to craft it now. I can always craft it later. What is the difference of this? See, look at the energy cost there. It's an energy cost of 8.1. But if I use the climbing rope... Look at that, 4.5. That's super huge. Go. But it doesn't last for very long. It only lasts for like 4 hours. 3 hours. Yep. Yep, that's what I figured. Get extra oxygen. Ugh, that energy cost, though. Jeez. Man, that is a tough call. That is a super tough call, because I could go for the energy. It's huge. It's like negative 35% energy cost on all terrains, but it's only for 8 hours. But then we're gonna have oxygen issues. But I've got the bottles, right? Yeah, I've got two bottles, and I've got the ability to craft a mask if I need to, and an improved mask at that. I actually have these fur gloves, too. I don't even think I made these. I can literally just make these into improved fur gloves if I need to, but I, I don't think I need to. Got the oxygen. Yeah, let's go for as quickly as possible. I don't usually take this one, but I think the energy saving is going to be useful. 
That should even help when climbing, I believe. I don't think it's just in the death zone, though. No, it just says decreased energy cost when moving. So it's not just in the death zone. There's the summit right there. You can just barely see the light. Shoot, what is even the plan to get up there? I don't even see a single point of interest. Well, I see this one way out there, but not like anywhere close. God, I can't see anything. This is a stupid storm. I think the plan is maybe... What is that? It's rubble. That's an ice labyrinth. I can go for ice labyrinth. That's fine. I think the plan is to go over here. Yeah, it's fine. We're not in the death zone anymore, so that is pretty good. do that. I know it's a, a bit of a weird way, but I really want to avoid that rubble if possible. I really hope I'm not running into a dead end here. It could happen. Like, the path is getting super narrow. Like, really narrow. But I'm hoping it goes around. It's just hard to tell. It's gonna be some climbing, that's for sure. Let's do this climbing, because that's just rocks. Rocks is not so bad, and I still have... Wait, what? How did I get an encounter here? Oh! Oh, it was the goat! You once again encounter a common mountain goat. It's standing behind a rock, and it's using... And using its head to point empath... Em emphatically. Not empath empathically, or whatever. In the direction you're walking. Is it trying to warn you? I hide behind the rock too, or I ignore the goat. I should probably hide it. Hide. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat. It notices neither you nor the goat. Ooh. Lucky. Well, thank you, goat. That was super nice of you. And see, all I did was I didn't even give it food. I, I imagine that if I would have given it food, it probably would have just given me like a sanity buff or something. Which, I mean, honestly, I probably could use. My god. Look. Look at that terrain difference. Or that elevation difference. Holy shit. Well, I'm certainly not going that way. That is too much climbing. Let's try for little amounts of climbing. I think this way is the way to go. Although... There is some impassable terrain here. That could be debatable whether that's a problem or not. Oh, is that a cave? Interesting. Not that I need a cave, of course. I have freaking plenty of uses on my tents, and I need to get rid of them anyway. At least one, so I can have more um, inventory space. That is a massive climb. Shoot. It's a massive climb that I'm going to have to make unless I want to detour and go this way, but that's not going to work either. Shoot. Yeah, definitely going to have to make this big climb here. That is super duper rough. Well, what I could do... is go to here, right... And then climb down into the cave and rest in the cave. Even though I do need to get rid of my tents, I might want to save those for later. Because if I climb down into the cave, that's going to take up a lot of energy going from the top to the bottom like that. It's also probably going to get me out of the death zone, honestly. That is a massive elevation change. It may not look it, but man, is that a massive change. Oh, nope, never mind. That is a lot of energy used, though. But it's probably for the best. This is also going to be a very high climb, so I might just use a rope. Remember, he can craft his own rope, so that's not a problem. 
And the reason I'm not crafting anything now is because I don't really need anything at the time being. Or for the time being. You enter the cave cautiously. I explore the fault? What is here? You squint down and make out something lying at the bottom of the fault. From this distance, it looks like it might be a backpack or bag. Could there be a valuable... Could there be valuable equipment in there? Required what? Oh, a torch. Yeah. I could just climb down. It's not a ton of sanity loss. I don't have a flashlight. Sure. Hope for the best. Maybe it's not super dark. Nothing. You climb back up frustrated. Damn it. Just wasted a bunch of oxygen and body heat. Got experience, though, so, eh, not bad. I'm going to sleep here. It took a ton of time, too, so now I gotta, I gotta sleep into the day. That sucks. So, so you get plus five energy per hour when resting, body temperature, and then I get that burst. This is gonna suck, though. I'm gonna lose a lot of oxygen. It is certainly not fantastic. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad for energy. Where I'm going to use my climbing rope is here. Actually, now that I think... Eh, that's risky. I was thinking, now that I think about it, just climb here instead of using all this energy. How much energy is that? 18. And if I use the climbing rope... Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Down to 8.4, that's a huge difference. I'll take it. Like I said, you can always craft more climbing ropes. Not a big deal. Sure did take a while, though. Yeah, 2.7. Hmm. I kind of want to jump like all these. While I've got the climbing rope, I kind of want to do a lot of climbing. Let's do some major climbing here. Much as we can, because the climbing rope doesn't last long. 2.2 hours left. Oh my god, there's medallions over there. Probably just gonna say fuck them. I don't think it's gonna... I don't think we're gonna make it to them. They are in a different spot, I think. Wait, maybe not. Hmm... I don't know, where's that summit? Wow, it's getting close. This is getting precarious. I think we can still make it, though. I've still got the climbing rope for a little bit. So you better bet I'm gonna make use of it. Oh my god, we are way into the death zone here. But again, remember, we have oxygen bottles, so it's no big deal double oxygen bottles, and the ability to craft our own oxygen bottles, so it's fine. Jeez, do we still have that climbing rope? I do. It might not be a bad idea to try to climb all the way down here, because there's no way I'm getting through this. It's just, it's all impassable. Here? Can you possibly let my climbing rope last till here? That would be super cool. Hell yeah, it's got half an hour on it. Yes. Can I get one more use out of it? Because one more use would be kind of fantastic. Yes, just one more. Perfect. Okay. And then I think what I might do is go ahead and pop this food. Get some energy, and let's go. Maybe we should go check out those medallions. Could be good. Yeah, it does sound like it's thundering outside. It's not like super loud thunder like it was that one day, though. That was crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Shoot. It's a dead end. Damn it. Backtrack. No, no, no. Fuck. Damn it. Forgot about that. Forgot to right-click to uh, clear the previous waypoint. Just ended up going there anyway, but it's fine. It's not super fine, because I am running out of oxygen. Oxygen ain't looking super good. Hmm? There's a fast-forward button? Yeah, I know. 
Hmm? On character movement speed above energy. If you are unaware. Yeah, I, I know about the fast forward. I just do this because, you know, it's it's nice. And I saw the way the the developer did it. He played it in fast forward and it looks kind of goofy. I honestly like the, the slow journey. It's kind of fun. It makes the game last longer, too. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Smithy. I am thinking I want to go for these. I'm a little scared of this mountain, though, I gotta say. I, I don't like that one. Oh, shit. Everything's risky, isn't it? It is. It's fine. I'm a bit scared of this mountain, though, because I've never actually had a mountain that affects your sanity as much as this one does. And so that's a little scary. And I am playing this on difficult. I'm not playing this on babby mode. It was way too easy. Shoot. Do I have the energy for this? I do. This usually just ends in failure. Could maybe get food. Sure. Shit. Yeah, it's just the avalanche crescendoing. Damn it. Well, I mean, I got experience. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Fresh air. It's a little too late for fresh air. What's this? Clear mind? Reduce energy costs when moving and climbing while sanity is high? Yeah, that's probably not a great one to pick up either. I guess fresh air could be... F well, let's go for Explore the Mountain. Sure. Not great options, but it's fine. Yeah, sure. I'm on the final mountain and just haven't had found the time to finish it up yet. You're on the final one? Wow, I haven't even been to the second mountain yet. This is the final side mission for the first, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank God. I didn't have to dig it. Oh, jeez. Usually you have to dig this out of snow. The case is empty. Just your luck. Experience, I'll take it. it does suck that it's empty, though. It sucks a lot. I love the scientist. Like, this guy, his crafting ability is amazing. I kind of wish he could craft tents. I guess that would be kind of broken, though. Can you get up here? Just barely. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to rest here. I'm almost at the summit. The summit is basically right there. This might not be a bad place to rest, since I have 2.7 energy. Probably can't even move anywhere. Shoot, I'm probably going to have to go to this ice, though. Hold on. Let me use the uh, bird's eye skill real quick. Uh, v. There we go. I don't know. Do I think that ravine will go there? Maybe. But is the ravine the easiest route? I mean, there's a lot of impassable terrain there. That's rough. And that's a lot of snow. That's going to be a lot of energy. I don't know. But we're definitely resting here for sure. Sleep long. Lots of oxygen. It's fine. I've got bottles. Yeah, I'll probably pop a bottle right now. Yeah, let's do that. Beautiful. I love the way the oxygen bottles do, though. Or how much they boost it. It's huge. Absolutely massive. Oh, I did end up getting the improved uh, climbing axe, too. Like, I didn't know that he could craft stuff into higher quality. Like, I found these fur gloves, so if I ever have body temperature problems, I can just craft these into better fur gloves, or better gloves. I might want to pop one of these moon herbs, too. My sanity's getting a little low. Yeah, let's do it. It only hurts you a tiny bit. He's got plenty of health, so it's not a big deal. How much is this going to hurt? 6.7? That's not the worst. 
gonna storm again tomorrow. No. <laughs> Why so much storm? Also, remember, people, um, or anybody in chat, remember if you do have this game, stick to the rocks as much as you can. Use a lot less energy that way. Don't do what I'm doing. Don't climb on ice. It's a bad idea. But sometimes you don't have a choice. And in this point, in this circumstance, I don't think I really have much of a choice. Granted, I do have the bonus for ice, too. Does that... Smithy, if you're still there, does the, uh, does the terrain bonuses that you get for team upgrades... Does that count for climbing as well? Or is it just flat walking? I'm not 100% sure. Because I have put in, I have put two points into ice because I think ice is one of the problems. One of the most problematic. Is that a cave? That is most certainly a cave. But I probably don't need the cave. Well, maybe. Can I even get to said cave? Is that a space? What is that? Oh, it's ice. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Yeah, that looks like the way to go. Because I'm not 100% sure. I think maybe the uh, terrain knowledge does count for climbing as well. Because I think I have it 10% lower energy usage on ice, which is pretty great. Honestly, this doesn't look great. I, I don't actually like how this is. But I think... I think it's gonna work. God, I wish I had a flashlight right now. Flashlight would be super useful. Let's just go over here and see. What was that? Oh, that's Daybreak. Wait, do I have food? I can't remember if I have food or not. Check and see if I do. Because if I do, I might pop some food. I don't think I do. Nope, I reused it. Shoot. It's fine. Go. Oh, wait. Stop again. Because I can pop that. Ha! Unfortunately, it means... Storm took up a lot of oxygen, but whatever, it's fine. I'm so tempted to craft an oxygen mask. Maybe it might not be a bad idea. Who knows how long I'm going to be in this death zone. If I was going to craft it, I should have crafted it beforehand, but I guess I'll get it. Sure. Oxygen. Could just build another bottle, too. God, that costs so much oxygen. Wait, I can't make an oxygen mask? Oh, it takes too much energy. Shoot. Hmm. It's too bad he can't craft food. Yeah, sure, I'll take another oxygen bottle. That's fine. Certainly not what I was hoping for. But it's fine, I suppose. See if we can just push on. Push on to the summit. It's like right there. Oh god, it's gonna be so much climbing though. Don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Unless I pop my rope for one last use. Sure, I can craft it again. Because this will be like no. Uh, that's still a lot of energy. What is that? Like 8.7? What about this? 9.4? That's even more. Let's do it. It's definitely getting higher, at least. And again, I'm not sure if the Daedalic sale is still going on. I know Steam said it was going on until, the, uh, until May 5th. I don't know if that means it ends on May 5th, or if it is ending on May 6th. I'm not sure. 
There's Nightfall. Can I make it to the summit without running out of energy? Yes. Yes! Made it! Just barely. And then you get a whole burst of stuff from the summit, like always. Thank God, because I certainly use the freaking sanity. Damn it. Wait, can I do it? I can do it. I can do it. Hold on. If I use my sanity herb thingy here, just before... Oh, we don't get all our health back, but it's fine. Kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, wow, look, the camp is, like, super close. What? That's crazy good. Okay, I have a tiny bit of energy. Maybe I should just sleep? I did craft that oxygen bottle, so we just pop a bottle and sleep. Oh, God. It's horrible. Sure. I guess I won't need a ma oxygen mask after all. Because that camp is really close. Although, it may look close, but is it is it attainably close? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. What's this again? Explore the mountain? Oh, that's still my experience, right? Is that just from events? Plus 75% experience gain in events. Yeah, it's just events. I was wondering if maybe it would count for my analysis, too. <laughs> I have got to get out of this freaking death zone. I can't believe how high I am. I don't think I've ever been up 7,000 miles before. Or meters. I think it's meters. Probably meters. Oh, this is gross. Should we just stair-step it? Yeah, maybe if we just stair-step it a little. And it's going to be daybreak here, which is good, because that means I'll get a tiny bit more vision. Actually, I think it's a lot more vision. Yeah, it's quite a bit more vision. Definitely better than Dark Storm. Or Storming at Night. There you are, I see you. God, this mountain is horrible, though. Can I even get down? I got a real bad feeling about this. There's so much impassable terrain. Look at all this. Just a cluster of impassable terrain there. But there's a rock here. But I think... I think all the rest of this is impassable. Damn it. That means I have to go down this way, I think. Alright. Let's go here. If we go just a little bit lower, maybe we can get a little bit of a better vision. And by vision, I mean vantage point. That's risky. Ice Labyrinth. That is a shitload of energy! Okay, that's probably too much. That's better. It's probably because that, that is a big elevation difference, not to mention it's ice. You do use the most energy on ice. Come on. That's yeah, fine. I'll probably have to hit the ice labyrinth anyway, which is fine. Oh, it's double ice labyrinths. That sucks. That's not the worst. Could be worse. I've got those fur gloves on, so I'm not really too worried about body temperature. We need to get out of this death zone, though. Like, as quickly as possible. We are still so far into the death zone. Wait, stop. Stop. Ah. Why did you just stop before you went down? There was an encounter there. Damn it. Let's go get that real quick. I wanted him to stop on the ice labyrinth. That would have been nice. All right. A camp. You discover an intact tent. There's nobody in sight, but the embers of the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. 
It could contain valuable items. I think I'm just going to continue my journey. I really don't need the sanity loss on this mountain. I think we'll just skip this because it's risky terrain. I'd rather take the Ice Labyrinth, honestly. I have the ability to lose body temperature just fine. But a risky event? Mm, could be bad. Could be very bad. Oh god. That's a long way down. What is that? What medallion is that? It's an encounter. And a cave. Okay. So what does this do? That is a lot of energy usage. I guess I'll do it, though. There's really no way around it. If you're gonna climb that much on ice, it's gonna take a lot of energy. It should get us way down. 64. Okay, that's pretty good. Go down here, see what the encounter is. Buried. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on a mountainside. Oh, there's a vacuum flask of tea. I can't dig for the person I could take the tea. But honestly, I think I'll just continue my journey. I really don't need the tea. I would dig the person out, but I, I just have no energy, so... How much I can do about that? Wait, how are my tents looking? Oh, I did use up my tent already. Yeah, so I could go to this cave just fine. Let's do a nice little rest in this cave. Although... It will hurt my oxygen. How much is it going to hurt, though? Okay, I mean, it's doable. Oh, God. But exploring at night in a storm? Not fantastic. What is that? Shrine. Guess I'll go with the one more push. Sure. Oh my god, I hope I can reach that shrine. Oh, double. Double risky. Good thing I still got my rope. That shrine is in a terrible spot. Didn't realize how terrible of a spot the shrine is in. Hey, that's outside the death zone. That's fantastic. Okay, shrine. Uh, give me anything. But I'd rather not have body warrant, because that is what I'm doing the best in. I would much rather have energy or oxygen. But energy would be the best, I think. Warmth or sanity? Damn. Sanity is fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't see a damn thing. I don't know if I even want to go up here. Yeah, sure, there's space here and here. 
Are there spaces all around? I have no idea. Maybe it's not a bad idea just to rest here. Do another long sleep. We'll wake up in the day, at least. We got plenty of oxygen, because we're out of the death zone. Thank God. What is this? Oh yeah, it's one more push. That's for even more oxygen, although I might have to go back up in the death zone. Cave down there. Where is the camp? Right over there. So... Hmm. So it probably is better to just double back, right? Yeah, definitely. Just go back this way. It most certainly is better to go this way. Because it's like... It's like a straight shot right there, right? Pretty much. Could be risky. It's not even risky, look at that. Nice. I think this corridor is just like a straight shot there. And away we go. I don't even need this. What is that? 35.4 hours? Wow. That does last a long time. I don't even think I need any of these medallions because we're basically done. The camp's right there. Might as well just make the push. Pretty much just a straight shot, too. We're in really good health, too. Look at that. Almost full health. All of our meters are looking good. Surprising, honestly. I didn't know about this mountain. I wasn't sure what to think of it. The sanity loss wasn't too bad. But then again, I had something that was helping my sanity, if I remember correctly. Let me just go ahead and use a rope here. I really don't want something bad to happen here. Look, there's even sanity over here. I'm pretty sure these sun medallions are always sanity, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure that's true. Because every time I've ever gotten them, they've always boosted sanity all the time. I think. If I remember correctly. Alright, and we are almost done. We've still got our safety rope, so there's no reason not to just, you know, go right through this risky train. I don't care. I don't care at all. We made it. That is another side mountain done. Uh, that means we're going to have to go on to the second mountain now. It's definitely going to be higher than the first, that's for sure. Yes! You have reached your goal. Your body feels weak, but your heart is jumping for joy. You know that the mountain is a merciless foe, but this time around you have defeated it again. Yes! And we time loop back. Oh. Not bad. Oh, shoot, I didn't even notice that. Get experience for items used, level ups gained, equipment, used consumables. Damn. Should have used all my stuff. Didn't even think about that. Maybe that's a real easy way to get a little bit of experience boosted at the end. Ooh, environmental knowledge. Hell yeah. Now, that's not terrain knowledge, so it's not the exact same thing that we had before, but it's still pretty good. Oh, we made it back in one piece. It looks like we'll have to redefine the word insurmountable for you. I know, right? Like, I'm pretty good at this game. Gotta say. Alright, environment knowledge. So there's night resistance, death zone resistance, cold weather, and storm. So I think I would go for storm and death zone. I think those are the ones that are the most dangerous. 
right? Because I usually try to go and boost the ones that are the most dangerous. Because there's a lot of energy loss in the storm, and the death zone reduced oxygen sucks. It really sucks. Like, reduced oxygen sucks. Yep, see, we've done all the side missions now. So now it is time. Time to go to mountain number two. And reach your goal. Hmm. Click to choose a route? What? There's an anomaly. Increased time cost when moving. That sucks. Normal weather, cold nights. Ew. Click to choose a route. What does that mean? Oh. Oh shit. So there's sanity loss, very rough terrain, energy cost and time cost, very thin air. <sighs> Not a big fan of either of these, really. The sanity might not be the worst. Because we're already having a bigger time cost on all terrain, so we don't want this. And oxygen is going to be a problem when it comes to the death zone. So yeah, let's just go for the very eerie surroundings. That should be fine. Bam. And maybe we should change our character. Although I do really love the scientist. I think he's amazing. I do have the journalist, which is pretty damn good, too. I've never even used all of his stuff here. Sanity gain in events? That could be good. Sanity per hour when moving. Only active in the death zone, though. Eh, not great. Gain one health. Time cost on all terrains, health loss and events. She has all of her maximum energy, so she has a ton of energy. Which might not be a bad idea. Hmm. I don't know, maybe the journalist is probably the best here. Yeah, I think he would be the best, because there's no bonus for either person, or any of the people. I think I'm going to put the Moonar back. I think I am going to take some food. I'm going to anticipate this being a very tall mountain. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. The cold nights might be kind of scary. Especially because he can't craft any fur, but uh, let's see what happens. This up drains rubble, glacier, and snowdrift can trigger dangerous events. Yeah, they can. We know that all too well. Oh my god, look how high it is. Oh my god, it's so far away. Woo. Okay, this is going to take some time. The cliff face, face rises impressively above you. It all seems surreal, so incredible. The research station, the time loop, what have you gotten yourself into? Cold air flows into your lungs, and now, to top it all off, you have to think your way into an experiment with an antenna at the top of this mountain. Mm-hmm. You gaze down at the glowing green stone. Even if that woman's theory is correct, and the stone is charged with radiation, why would that affect the time loop? And are you putting your life in danger? Could be. Radiation's no joke. Yeah, no joke. You take a deep breath, then give yourself a shake. Waiting here twiddling your thumbs is not an option. Better to face your fate. Yeah, true. Alright. Oh, what a shitty place to start. Look at this. No way to just walk somewhere. You gotta climb. Okay, so that summit is way the hell up there. And the death zone's still at 6,000, so that's rough. How exactly am I going to do this? 
Do we want to go this way, pick up some of those medallions? Probably not. It's probably better to take a more um, just direct approach. Walk? Oh, right. I had my fingers on the wrong buttons. My bad. Didn't have my fingers on WASD. I had them on, like, caps lock, Q, and S, I think. That's not going to work. Even though WASD doesn't work in this game. I just have it on there because it's natural. And W does cause you to walk. That's what I'm always using to walk. I don't double click anymore. Oh, there's an item right here. This was definitely the right way to go. Look at all this freaking grass. Sure has been a long time since we had grass. Feels nice. Been a long time since we've been at this low of elevation. Granted, it's not going to last forever. An item. What is this? A bunker? As you walk along the rock face, you notice something unusual. You rub your eyes in disbelief. There's a heavy steel door leading into the mountain. And it is open just a crack. I'll walk through the door. You walk down a dark, narrow passageway, tracing your fingers along the stone wall as you go. This tunnel definitely isn't a natural rock formation. It is clearly man-made. The tunnel eventually forks, ending in another steel door. This one is padlocked. So we could try to force the door, continue down the main passageway, or turn back and leave the tunnel. Um, I think I'll just do this. I don't want to use up that much energy. Stumble along the passageway, which forks off into yet more tunnels. It's like a labyrinth. Getting lost in the dark would not be wise. As you turn back, you trip over a box. It's made of wood. And you realize you can open it. You rummage around inside. It feels like provisions. But you'll have to get back into the daylight to see if they're any good. Oh, bandages. Alright, that's fine. I'll take bandages. And a level up. Warm thoughts. Is that... Because it does have cold nights, right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think I'll go for Take It Slow, though. Take It Slow is just so good. And I believe you can only get two levels into a perk. Into any any perks at all. Oh, this is taking no energy. This feels good. Just a bunch of walking feels super good. Hey, there's an item over there. I won't take too much energy either. Let's do it. We may as well grab all this stuff before we go up the mountain. Look at all these trees. Very nice. We haven't seen trees in forever. Look at all that freaking ice over there, too. Just, just tons of ice. You can tell I don't think this this um, this mountain is as random. It looks like somebody designed it to look like a mountain. You trudge along a slope piled high with snow. You sink deeper into the drifts with every step, until suddenly your boot meets resistance. You push the snow aside, exposing a metallic surface with colored markings on it. Faded, but still identifiable. There's no doubt about it, you found the wing of a downed airplane. I dig deeper, lose a lot of energy, or I examine the wing. Lose some body heat. Let's examine the wing. You are engrossed in your work when, out of the corner of your eye, you spot a billowing cloud of snow coming towards you. Oh, good. You quickly dive into a recess in the rock. Seconds later, tons of snow and ice come thundering down above you. You are plunged into darkness. The cold seeps into your bones, and you gasp for air. Slowly, you start to dig, calmly, carefully until you burst through the mantle of snow and fresh air flows back into your lungs. Well, that sucks. Yep, that was pretty shitty. But I gotta level up. That's good. Warm thoughts? Yeah, let's grab that. Because remember, he's got... Um... Wait, can I tell... Yeah, skills. There we go. No, that's that. Never mind. Damn it. I wanted to see if I could see his skills, but I don't think you can. 
I don't think you're allowed to see that. Only before the mission. I was trying to see. I know he had something for sanity, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, wait. You can probably see it here. Duh. These are all knowledge. That's all knowledge, I believe. This is all knowledge as well. This is his stuff. Let's see. Whenever you reach a point of interest, you gain 160 experience. Whenever you level up, you gain energy, body temperature, oxygen, sanity, and health. That's really good stuff. Light steps, less energy cost on all terrain, and there it is, Robust Mind. Negative three sanity loss in events. Damn. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be, like, sanity gain, but I guess it's not. There is a cave here, but again, I don't need energy. So I might as well just keep pushing on. It is a bit dark, though, so... A little bit scary. I think this is the right way. I hope so. It's super dark. I hope this leads up the mountain. Kind of looks like it might. Is that snow? If so, we're starting to get up higher. Okay. Yeah, I gotta take it nice and slow because it's dark. I can't really see what I'm doing very well. There's a shrine. Might be interesting to grab. These are impassable. Let's go this way. And climb up here. Good thing it's just rock. It doesn't take as much energy. Oh, there's a lot of medallions over there. What a garbage place for a shrine. go this way. Try and pick up this item if we can. Remember, there are cold nights, so not great. Definitely losing body temperature. Though the night is almost over. What have we got here? A box. You discovered a very chest. Dig out the chest? Yeah, of course. You find some canned food. Hell yeah. Canned food's always good. Gotcha. But unfortunately, my body temperature is getting pretty low. I should probably go ahead and drink this tea. Here we go. Doesn't give you a whole lot, though, sadly. could make it here or make it to the shrine from this way hard to tell at night though it's so dark hmm that's risky terrain but it should be fine it's only one Whew. didn't trigger it good oh it's more than I thought it's double It'll be fine. Yeah, see? Climb up here. Give me something good. Sanity, energy, or warmth. I'll take either of those. Let's see here. Health or warmth? Well, I certainly don't need health. I'll take the warmth. Thank you very much. I do have food for energy. Oh, this is crappy. Actually, it's not as crappy, because I can just walk back down here, or climb back down here, and go down to the next level, and then grab those two. 
There's actually a cave over there. I might sleep there. Because I've already used my tent once, right? No, I haven't. But if I don't have to use my tent, I would rather not use my tent. Actually, I may not even sleep. It's almost daytime. I don't want to sleep the day away. It's way easier to travel in the day than it is at night. You can barely see at night. A bunny! You hear a soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You take a look around and discover a mountain hare cowering inside a rock fissure. It trembles as you approach, but does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. I kill the hare, or I continue my journey, or I help the hare. Apparently it needs a moon herb. I don't need to kill it. Nah. I'll just leave it be. It's fine. I was hoping I could fix it with my bandages, but apparently that's not how you fix a rabbit. Okay. Well, at least we've got nice vision again. That's great. Let's go up here. I could just hit a level up. That would be fantastic. That would give me another burst of energy. Oh, the body heat is going back up. That is fantastic. I'm not sure if the tent would even give me body heat because of the cold nights. It might just make it so I don't lose as much. Shoot. This is rough. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to pop one of these foods. Head on this way. I'm going to go check out that encounter for sure. Wait, was that deep snow? No. Oh man, this is risky. Oh god, that's like triple risky. Look at that, triple risky terrain. Quadruple risky. Damn. That's a lot of climbing, too. You know what? I can pop both of these, can't I? Yes, I can. Nothing that says you can't have two. It's quite a bit of climbing, so I figured I might as well. Don't know if I want to go down for that item. Actually, I don't even know if I can. Mm, or that cave down there? Probably not. There's a cave right there. But I'm not really sure if I want that either. An old expedition. You reach a small plateau where the steep rock walls provide natural protection from the icy wind. A good place to take a break. A long extinguished fire suggests you're not the first to rest here. So I want to take a break or continue my journey. I'll take a break. Sure. Other mountaineers have sat here before you to recover from their exertions. You wonder who they were, what they were doing here. I take a look around. Sure. In a gap between two rocks, you find some empty cans of beans. Their expiration date is listed as 50 years ago. Probably a group of mountaineers, judging by the number of cans. Curious. Unfortunately, however... You don't find anything of use, but experience is useful. That means a burst of everything. Good. Wait, it is a burst of everything, right? There it is. When you level up, yeah, you get energy, body temperature, oxygen, and sanity, and health. Yeah, it's super good. Level up. Take it slow, stay warm. I love the take it slow, I do. But I think the stay warm is pretty good. With these cold nights? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take stay warm. I've got the warm thoughts, too. Uh, how long is left on this rope? Which one's which? Climbing rope and safety rope. There's a cave, and there's an item down there, too. I guess I'm just going to say bye to him, because I'm going to go this way. 
Because this is so much dangerous terrain here. Just, it's too much dangerous terrain. Wow. My sanity is draining like a mofo. Damn. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that wood. The eerie voices or whatever. Eerie sounds. Ooh, a container. Come across corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. Maybe the occupiers used it as a storage facility. So I could search every nook and cranny, which will take a long time. Or take a quick look inside. I'm going to search everything. See what happens. Your search pays off. You find some valuable equipment. Oh, what is that? Thunder charm? What? The hell is this? A charm? Negative 20% energy cost on all terrain. Negative 5 sanity per hour when moving? Oh, damn. So it's a charm, huh? I guess you put that over here? Cool, I've never had a charm before. This could be dangerous, though, because sanity is not... Not a great thing. Although, there is a shrine up here. Maybe I could get... Oh, there's a sun medallion over there, too. So that's guaranteed sanity, I think. Do we still have that? No, my rope is gone. Shoot. I don't like popping the rope again so soon. Hmm. Ah, just go for it. Hope for the best. Whew. Lucky. Alright, let's see what this shrine has to offer. It's way up at the top of this peak, though, which sucks. Because it means I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to climb my way down. I don't have a choice. Because I don't think there's any other way... Yeah, this is literally just all by itself. Well, actually... Could be wrong. I might be able to get down the back here. I don't know if it's a great idea, though. Okay, what are you offering? Sanity or health? I will take the sanity. Kind of what I was hoping for, anyway. And there's the sun medallion, which I think is guaranteed sanity. This is rough. Kind of looks like no matter where I go, it's going to be pretty rough. Maybe just pop a climbing rope and go for it. I can probably do this. Ooh, that is a lot. Sure. I guess that's fine. I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring. I'm planning to sleep this night. I'm thinking get down to here, then sleep, pop the climbing rope in the morning, and try and climb as much as I possibly can. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Let's sleep. Sleep long, because we want to get to the daytime. Sanity's going to go down, but that's fine. It's unfortunate. It's just going to happen. Yeah, sanity is going to be rough. I don't know what happens if you run out of sanity. I imagine it's going to trigger critical events, and they're probably not going to be fun. <gasps> God, look at that energy usage. Yeah, I'm going to have to pop the rope first. For sure. There we go. That's much better. I hope these are ice labyrinths. This is gonna suck. I no wonder that took so much energy. Look at that. I mean, I didn't have a choice. You're gonna have to come into this ravine, period. Oh! An old expedition. There is something on the ground in front of you. You reach down to find a can of beans that expired 50 years ago. Hey, it's the same ones! Just like the ones you found in the gap between the rocks on the little plateau. Only this one is still closed. I eat the contents, or I'm not touching that can. I mean, it's just a can of beans. It's probably fine, right? Doesn't matter if it's expired, it's canned. They last forever, don't they? They smell all right, despite the fact that they are long past their expiration date. You take a spoonful, then another. Your stomach starts to rumble. 
you decide to risk one more bite. You can already feel your guts cramping up. You ditch the can and continue on your journey. Oh, God. And I took a hit to health, but I got some energy, so, okay. It's fine. I got a little bit more health, because I just leveled up. Hell yeah. Warm thoughts or intense movement? Hmm. Or there's the experience gain, but pff, I don't think that's going to be worth it. Mm, this is for 24 hours, but more energy cost on all terrain? Yeah, I'm going to go with Warm Thoughts. I don't want more energy cost, because I am just about to make a massive climb here. Okay, it is an Ice Labyrinth, thank god. Holy shit, that must mean all of these are Ice Labyrinths. Jeez. The Labyrinthiest. Shit. Oh no, I can't even climb this. Shoot. Do I still have my climbing rope? I do. Okay, so these are dangerous terrains too, or risky terrains, so I'm also going to pop the safety rope. I'm going to hate this. Oh my god, don't even look at it. Just, just don't even look at the energy loss. I'm, I'm just going to close my eyes, and we'll just be done. Hmm? What are you doing after the stream? Um, eating? Why, what's up, Sasha? Ah, oh, shoot, the cave. I mean, I could just go for it. I have the climbing rope on still. What's this tell me I can't do this? Ouch, so much energy, don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Wanna hang out for an hour or so? What were you thinking? Like, what would you wanna do? Play some my industry? Or one of the other games we have in common? Um, uh, maybe. Though I do need to eat. Cause I'm always super hungry after uh, stream. So I don't know if I even, I don't know if I even have an hour. Sadly. Although if you're still if you're still wanting to hang out after I eat, then sure. <laughs> Cause if I don't eat, I'll probably pass out. <laughs> Cause this might take a while. I mean the summit is way the hell up there. Hmm? <laughs> what are you saying, Prish? Like nobody needs to eat, man. I still have my safety rope. I'm gonna do it. Just just go for it. And just bring the food to your computer. Well I would, but I always watch something with my mom. It's the only time we really get to spend time together is when I eat. So it always takes about an hour-ish. Depending upon what we watch. Oh my god, look at all this freaking risk risky train. I hate it. Safety rope? Yeah, still safety rope. I guess I'll go for it. And jokes aside, obviously, the after eating was implied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that should work. I would think so. Depending on what you want to play. I don't know if I want to play my industry. Not too sure yet. If we could do some balloons tower defense six, though, if you want, that'd be fun. I've been wanting to play that. You, A swarm of flies hovers over a trench. Their buzzing sounds unusually loud and strange to you, heart pounding. You peer over the edge of the trench. At the bottom, you see a pile of human corpses intertwined with their faces covered in black spots. Gross. I think I'm gonna keep my distance and just look around the area, thank you. I don't want to be losing that much sanity. The spots on the faces of these corpses are very strange. You'd better not get too close. Yeah, I mean, it could be like Black Plague or something. You find a bag hidden in some shrubbery a little way off from the trench. It must have belonged to one of the dead people. There are a few provisions inside. You ignore your pangs of guilt as you tuck the provisions into your own pack. In your, into your own pack. What is it? Oxygen bottle. Okay, I'll take that. 
I'm sure I'm going to need it, right? Hmm? Oh, well, if it's going to take an hour, it might be too late. Actually, how much longer are you going to be streaming? I don't know. This was going to be my last mountain. So once I am done with this mountain, I'm going to be done. It's probably going to go further than four. Which is not what I usually like to do, but it's fine. I wanted to get three mountains done, so it's all good. But the summit is... I mean, it's, it's getting closer. Getting closer a little bit. Not like so that's terrible. Yikes, that's the only way to get over there? Well, I still have my safety rope, so maybe, maybe I'll just do this. Change my mind, I want that item. Ouch. So I assumed you'd be streaming for 20 to 30 minutes more. Yeah, it's probably not going to be 20 to 30 minutes more. It'll probably be about 40 minutes, I guess. This is one of those story mountains, though, so I don't really know what's going to happen with it. I do love this game, though. This game is so much fun. All right, let's check this item. Ah, damn it. I was going to say, actually, I should have just gone to this encounter, but I can do that out later. An oxygen bottle? No, I don't want to waste my energy getting that. I have plenty of oxygen bottles. Reserve energy, that would be nice. Sanity? Yeah, let's go for the sanity. Gonna need that sanity. Let's go check what's down here. If I'm still free up, I'll join you. Okay. Take as much time as you want to finish up and eat once you're done. In your own time, just send me a DM. Okay. You want me to just send you a message on uh, a Discord? In a deep pit, you discover half-decayed carcass of a goat. It must have fallen into a pit and been gored by the sharpened spikes at the bottom, or stakes. There's no doubt about it. This was a trap. You squint down into the pit. It looks like there's something pinned underneath the goat. <sighs> Ooh, this seems like a bad idea. I think I'm just going to look around the edge of the pit. You walk around the perimeter of the pit. Judging by its size, it appears to have been dug by uh, for a bear. No amount of goats at the bottom of the pit would convince you to climb down there. Okay, I'll take the experience. That's fine. I don't want to get killed. Okay, yeah, I can do that. As long as I remember... God, my memory is not what it used to be. There's a cave up there. There's an item up there. Item over there. Item over there. God, there's so many points of interest. Guaranteed sanity there. That'd be nice. Encounter over there. Maybe it's not a bad idea to work my way over to that shrine. There's definitely a path over there to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's go, dude. I can't believe he doesn't have any active skills. I thought he did. But I guess not. Also, remember, chat, if you do want to get games from Daedalic, I do believe they're still on sale for now. I think it's just for today, though, but it may have ended today. I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted to do more, four or more Daedalic games this week. Although Star did give me another... Oh shit, what is that? Oh fuck. Why did this happen? I'm not in critical stuff. Your upper arm starts to itch intensely. You scratch, but it only gets worse. As you peel back your clothing to examine the itchy spot, the blood drains from your face. A dark red fissure is eating its way deep into your skin. Just like the corpses in the trench, you feel faint with terror. I remove the itching skin, ouch. I ignore the itch, or I treat the itching skin, but that would require a moon herb. I guess I'll remove it? it sounds like a really bad idea. Sweat beads on your forehead as you press the knife to your skin. If you don't act now, the rash will spread to other parts of your body, just as quickly as it first appeared. If you really have contracted flesh-eating bacteria, you need to remove the infected tissue immediately. Ugh, God. 
You bite down on a piece of wood as you slice into the flesh around the fissure. Tears stream down your face. The pain is indescribable. But you somehow manage to remain conscious. You pack the wound with snow to cool it. Then you bandage your arm. You just hope you caught it early enough. Ugh, what a sanity hit. That's awful. Oops, well, it's a good thing I didn't touch the bodies. Probably could have been worse had I went down to the bodies. I guess I shouldn't have checked their packs either. My bad. That was pretty, pretty terrible. Because he doesn't have extra health. He only has 20. I am going to make my way to the shrine, though. Hopefully that's the last we ever see of that. I'm, I'm hoping so. That would be absolutely terrible. Oh, it's going to storm tomorrow? Yuck. Ooh, there is a cave, though. So I wouldn't have to use my tent. That's fantastic. Okay, shrine. What's up? Please give me something good. Freaking sanity would be super nice. Please, sanity. I mean, I take health, too, but I really want sanity. Please, sanity? Sanity! Yay! Perfect. I'll take that. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. Risky terrain. Not great. I'm going to try and make my way to the cave and then sleep there. We're not even close to the death zone yet, which is awesome. Yet I am getting closer and closer to the summit. Shit. Oh, it was the deep snow, damn it. The snow beneath your feet gives away. You fall, but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat, snowy crevice. Shoot. What a trash load of body heat lost. Absolutely terrible. God, that's the worst, too, because it's cold nights. Absolutely terrible. Mindfulness. Oh, yeah, gain sanity. So I'll gain sanity for the cave. Yay! Maybe I'll find the fireflies in the cave. Please, fireflies. I can have fireflies. This is an interesting looking cave. Explore the fault. Lose a little bit of energy. Sure. Squint down and make out something lying at the bottom of the fault. From this distance, it looks like it may be a backpack or a bag. I guess I'll try and climb down. I mean, maybe they got some sanity flowers in there. Ouch! You slide down the sharp rock. Yeah, that's probably gonna cause pain. Yep. Injured hand. Good. Well, I plan on sleeping, so it's fine. That's all I got was an injured hand. It was an old backpack. Nothing. Wow. Well, at least I got the experience, which means a burst of sanity and everything for him. And even health. Or not? Or maybe you have to actually do the level up? I'm not sure. I am going to lie down to sleep. Thank you very much. I can't. Yeah, I can't level up. Wait, what? Left shift? Nah, I can't do it. Okay. Let's just do that. Whew. Okay, now it's storming, which is bad. Here's the level up. Um, Gain five sanity? I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Is that mindfulness too? Yes, it is. Very nice. Does that stack with mindfulness? Oh, it does! Well, that's super good. That's super duper good because I am going to have a bad time with sanity on this mountain. I should not have picked the eerie voices. Or eerie sounds or whatever. It's a bad idea. But all of them were really terrible. All the options were super bad. What is this? Several locals approach you with spades on their backs. They are carrying a long object wrapped in a cloth. A procession? 
you listen to their monotonous guttural singing which they do not halt even when your eyes meet their otherworldly song is full of pain and sorrow so we could talk to them or remain silent and continue my journey i'm gonna try to talk to them you take a few steps toward them and observe the long object you recognize the outline of a human body underneath it suddenly you feel a blow to your back oh great you fall to the ground and taste blood in your mouth great out of the corner of your eye you see a young man with broad shoulders, eyes glistening menacingly. You get to your feet and run away. Good. Good. Just, just damage and sanity loss. Great. Good. Super good. Exactly what I wanted. Let's see. What else do we have here? There's an item up there, but that's really far away. What is that? Item. But again, that's really far back now. I don't think I want to go back. I think we're done with going back. Let's head forward. Hold on. Do I have... I don't have any of those freaking flowers. Damn it. And I don't know what happens when you lose your sanity, but we might, might find out. Because there's no way for me to get sanity. At least not right now. Should I go for this item? I guess. Double deep snow? Hmm. I can do better than that. Do that. That's less energy usage, at least. Probably a little more time, because climbing takes time. But less energy usage because you're going through less deep snow. Eats up your energy big time. Okay. I think I do want to go for this item. I do have a bad feeling this is going to be a dead end, though. I just wanted to talk to those guys and be like, I'm so sorry that you lost a dude, you know? But apparently they were super dicks. Uh-oh. I really hope I'm gonna get something for sanity here. Sanity's rough. Oh, family tragedy. There's a pile of snow at the foot of the slope. An avalanche must have hit here recently. A series of very regular holes in the snow catch your attention. Someone has been digging here, but for whom? Or for what? You are reminded of the procession. Didn't those men have spades on their back? Take a closer look at the holes. Or I keep back. I guess I'll take a closer look at the holes. There's a piece of paper lying in the snow. No, a photograph. One of an old man flanked by two strong young men, a father and his sons. Their eyes beam with joy. You recognize one of the faces. You carry on digging, but there is nothing more. Just endless snow. Damn it. That wasn't super useful. This item better be like the best item in the world. I really wish there was a better way to deal with sanity, right? Because the only thing you have is the stupid flowers, and that's it. And you never find fucking flowers, like, ever. An oxygen bottle. You see an oxygen bottle with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice. The bottle seems to be intact. Oh, man. I could certainly use that freaking oxygen mask. I dig towards the bottle. Or I use a stone to break the ice, or I do nothing and continue my journey. Uh, this one. Shards fly as you smash a sharp stone against the ice over and over. Your hands hurt and your knuckles are bloody, but you don't give up. Finally, you have removed enough ice to grab the oxygen bottle and pull it towards yourself. Damn it. Fucking hand injury and a stupid oxygen bottle. I wanted the mask. Damn it. I have enough oxygen bottles. Jeez, I don't even need them yet. I haven't even gotten to the death zone yet. 
I've got to get to that shrine. This is a miserable climb. So far. Again, I don't know what happens when you run out of sanity, but I'm imagining that it's going to trigger critical events. And I'm sure it's probably going to be bad stuff. How much does this take for energy? That's quite a bit of energy. It's probably fine, though. Wait, hold on. What do we need to do to get here? <gasps> you got to be kidding me. That's the only way to get there? Wait. No, I don't think so. No, I think... I think you can still get there by going around. Which should be fine. These freaking ice labyrinths, though. What's that hand injury do again? Oh, yeah. Energy cost when climbing. Rough. And I got lots of climbing to do. Yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of body temperature there due to the uh, ice labyrinths. It's probably worth it for the item and the shrine, though. I hope that shrine gives me sanity, because sanity is rough. It is very rough. Alright, let's try going this way. I have a feeling this is going to work. Might be a little bit more climbing, but I think it's way less than they wanted me to do. There we go. Probably maybe take a rest here. Oh, the sanity is definitely going to hit. It is definitely going to take a hit. God, I hate stormy nights. You can barely see anything at all. You can see two steps in front of you. And that's it. Yeah, I think... It's risky, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty risky. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rest. Let's take a nice long sleep. Wait, do I not get a boost from sanity? I should. Oh, is it this one? Oh, wait, no, no. This one. Yeah, I've got to take it slow. Oh, that does not give you sanity. Energy, body temperature, and oxygen. That sucks. That super duper sucks. Well, I guess we're gonna find out when you run, what happens when you run out of sanity, because it's gonna be happening. Oh, thank god. Oh, it is cold, which is not great. Okay, that's where I want to go. And I think I can get there. It won't be too bad. Let's do something like that. Although I do hate the fact that it's all ice. That is pretty rough. This ice is what's going to take the most energy. And plus I still have... Oh no, I don't have my injured hand anymore. It's gone. Good. Here, here, here. I don't like it. I'd like to go around. Actually, it might be safer to go around. Yeah, let's just go around. Yeah, let's do that instead. Because the ice labyrinths aren't so bad. Am I going to get stuck here? Nope. No, I can definitely get up here and get to this encounter. Yeah, so this is not just a complete dead end. What can this shrine give me? Sanity or health? Oh man, I kind of need both, honestly. But I really need the sanity. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. He can slowly get his own health back. 
Because every time he levels up, he gets a little bit of health and a little bit of everything, honestly. I'm going to level up right here. See? Leveled up. So you saw that little boost of everything? Very little. Your breath is taken away, towering in front of you. On the slope are bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow. And several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call out, but no one answers. Mm. Usually approaching the camp is not bad. Uh-oh. Crap. Ended up injuring myself and losing sanity. Oh, good. Good. Really super good. Can't stop now. More sanity per hour when moving. Less sanity per hour. Or losing sanity when moving. Or, or resting it or in events. You know what? I'll take it. Maybe I can make that work. I probably can't. Nope. I'm still losing sanity. Fuck. It's fine. At least that means I lose less sanity. Ugh. Don't like the yellow exclamation points. They're not great. I really wish they would give you different color exclamation points when you hover over. But it's always yellow. It would be nice if it changed from yellow to blue just to let you know the terrain without clicking on it. But it doesn't do that. See, this is an ice labyrinth. So it's a blue exclamation point, but it still says yellow, so... Oh wait, that's not an ice labyrinth. Shit. That's unfortunate. Gotta go over here, though. Mm, we're getting close to the death zone. Damn it. Glacier. A long crevice hinders your advance. There is a narrow spot where you could attempt to jump across. I attempt the jump, or I go around the crevice. That's a lot of sanity loss. I'm just going to attempt the jump. You almost made the jump cleanly, hitting the other side of the crevice hard. Good. Super good. An injured dude. Now this is the guy that needs the... Uh... Oh, God. If I help him, I get a sanity boost, though, right? If I remember correctly? Well, I get sanity. Oh, and he gave me... What is that? Fur gloves? Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. And another fucking oxygen bottle. Do I need four oxygen bottles? Probably, honestly. We'll start using them soon, because we're just about to get in that death zone. Just about. Actually, I might just head over to this cave and take a rest, because I only have one use on my tent left. I may need to take off that thunder charm. But I'm so excited to finally have a charm. I've never had one. That is a lot of blue. But it's fine. It's just energy and body heat. It'll be it'll be fine. Plan is I'm gonna sleep in this cave anyway. So just climb up to this cave. And sleep. Let's follow the wind though. Let's see what's happening. Stalactites. Ugh. Could be bad stuff. A corpse riddled with stalactites. Yeah, it's too dangerous, but I found some tea. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> I will gladly take some tea. Okay, so sleep long. I'm going to lose a lot of body temperature, though. And a lot of sanity, really. It's because of the can't stop now. It's for another 6.8 hours. I really need the energy, too. Wait, do I have some food? I can't tell. Yeah, I guess I have to sleep, don't I? 
I could just sleep briefly. Less of a loss. But I'm going to lose the bonus anyway, so might as well just sleep long. Go for it. Get rid of the cold. Okay. Not looking super good. Let me see what that looks like. You know what? I might actually just do something like this. We won't be exploring too much in the night, so we won't lose a whole lot of body temperature. So we should be fine. And then... Go ahead and you... Oh, I do have food. That's good. I also have a bandage. Which I might want to use. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. I've taken a lot of damage. I'm going to use this so that we can take a lot less energy when doing this. Good thing it's not a storm, thank goodness. Storm would be bad. What is this? Is there any way to get to that? Not particularly. Let me see. Yeah, not, not easily. I'd have to get to it from like here, climbing up. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, I do have my climbing rope for a couple of hours. Maybe I should just go ahead and do it. It'll take a whole lot less energy with this climbing rope. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something great. There's also a sun over there. Sun medallion. Damn it. And an encounter? Damn. How much is this going to take? Yeah, it's not bad. Thank God for the climbing rope. I have to remember he can't craft the climbing rope, though. He's not the scientist. Ruins. Nearby an abandoned camp, there are a couple of empty oxygen bottles. You could take the time to search the tents. So search thoroughly, lose... Let's just take a quick look around. I don't want to lose too much sanity. You find one bottled oxygen tank. Wow. Just oops all oxygen. Does anybody want to trade me for this oxygen? Because I would gladly trade you some oxygen. I have a ridiculous amount of oxygen. You know, I probably will go back over there, too, to these things. I really need it. There's the sun. This should be guaranteed sanity. Which is great. Definitely something I need. The Northern Lights. 22.5 sanity. Hell yeah. Not to mention a level up. Clear mind. Reduced energy cost when moving and climbing while sanity is high. Pfft, well, that's useless. Stay warm could be good. Explore the mountain. Could be good too. I'm going to go with stay warm though. That's stay warm number two, I believe. Yeah. So plus one body temperature per hour when moving. And I think it stacks with stay warm one as well. So I think it's 1.5, I believe. No, it just says plus one. Maybe it just upgrades it. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Get out of here, check out this encounter, and then head for that shrine and that item, and then head back up. We should be pretty damn close to the summit by now. Yeah, it's real close. Death Zone's gonna be right around here, I would guess. Rough. Rough for sure. More spiders. I would lose sanity, but I'm gonna do it. But they don't hurt you. Yeah, they never do. Maybe they do. I don't know. Oh, a stone charm. Oh, <gasps> extra sanity per hour when moving. Oh, plus 50% energy cost on all terrain. That sucks. These charms suck ass. 
guess they just kind of... Like, they kind of negate each other. I guess I could take this off. Just try and get the more sanity for now. Yeah, I'm losing less, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to pay a lot of energy, though. It's probably worth it. Maybe. How bad is this gonna be to climb down? That is a long way to climb. Does it count as climbing to ice? It's <laughs> a lot of energy. It does count as climbing to ice. Shit. Yeah, it's probably too much energy. I'm just gonna go around. Oh my god. Freaking deep snow, too. God damn it. Well, it's definitely less energy to go this way. Oh my god. Look at all this risky ice. Is it? It's not even labyrinths. Shit. Fine, I'll use my rope. Because my plan is to go here, 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 here. There we go. Do it like that. And hopefully I'll have my rope long enough that I can get through all of this. Because look at all this freaking ice. That is absolutely terrible. And every one of these is yellow. Exclamation point. Really bad. The wishing tree. Okay, what can I wish for? Health or energy? I think I'll go for the energy. Honestly, I think it's just a good idea. Let's go ahead and see what this item is. Good lord, I hope it's not another freaking energy bottle or oxygen bottle. Seriously. Getting closer and closer to the death zone. Pile of garbage. You stand in front of a fissure, completely befuddled. It is full of empty cans, torn clothing, and other junk. A sharp stench fills your nostrils. Someone has left a pile of garbage here. So I climb into the fissure and search through the garbage, which would lose a lot of body temperature, or I stay at the edge of the fissure. Yeah, let's stay at the edge. You lean over the edge of the fissure to get a better look at the pile of garbage. It reeks of dead animals and feces. Your eyes start to sting, but as you reach down, you can feel a greasy strap. A tattered backpack full of provisions. They're still good! You quickly transfer them to your own pack and continue on your way. What is it? What the hell is that? Is that a flare gun? Green flare pistol. Whoa. Calls for a traitor? What? Plus 200% light radius. Hmm. That's... different. Definitely never seen this before. That's... pretty cool, honestly. I didn't even know that was a thing. Cool. Okay, let's see if we can get past all this stupid ice. Because remember, this is my last rope. My last safety rope. So let's try and get through as much of this as possible. It's very risky. Good. No, no, no. Go up. Mm, I think that might be too risky. I think I might just go around the snowy way. Like that. It's a little bit more energy, probably, but it's a lot less risk. Man, my sanity is looking absolutely terrible. Because I don't think this is going to end in a dead end. It's just going to avoid all of this ice, which is great. That was my plan, was to avoid all that risky ice. That is way too much risk. Risk. 
All right, where to now? There's a shrine. Yeah, going for that shrine is probably the best bet. We're on our way to the death zone anyway. I mean, honestly, I don't even think I have to worry about the death zone. I have four freaking oxygen tanks. I'm never going to run out of oxygen. Sanity is what I'm worried about. It is very low. Diarrhea? Oh, God. It's because I ate that stuff. Your stomach rumbles and your guts suddenly start to cramp. You only just managed to pull your pants down in time to empty your bowels. Oh, great. I chew on some herbs, which I don't have. I ignore the discomfort. I should probably stop and rest. As you lie doubled over in the snow, you can't help but think about the pile of garbage and its horrible stench. Maybe you caught something there. I don't think so. It was probably the food that I ate. Although it might have been the pile of garbage. Is that even possible in these temperatures? You have no idea. But you do know that removing your mountaineering gear always takes a certain amount of time. Time that a bout of diarrhea won't necessarily grant you. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That didn't sound great. Let's just move around slowly here. Actually, don't I have a thing of hot tea still? Yes, I do. I'm going to go ahead and use that. For now, yeah. Actually, you know what? Maybe using this gun is not a bad idea. Bam! As you look through a rock arch, a giant of a man in a torn anorak suddenly blocks your way. He points at your backpack with a scowl. Is he going to rob you? As if he has read your mind, the, star the stranger starts to rummage around in his own backpack. You're relieved. He only wants to trade. The towering man indicates that he would like to have a tent. You should take one of his possessions in return. You take... But I don't want a tent, dude. Or I don't want you to take my tent. I really don't want you to take my tent. It only has one use left, and I'd kind of like to use that for myself. Yeah, you know, because I don't really need an oxygen mask. I have so many bottles. I don't really need the fur gloves, because I think I already have some. I do. So I certainly don't need that. And I don't really need the bandages, because my health is still decent. I'm not going to trade. Fuck you, dude. Alright, this is gonna suck. I think this is deep snow, so I think maybe just cutting through here is probably my best bet. Remember, I have no safety rope anymore. Okay, good. Yeah, and then I lose the light radius, of course. It only lasts for like 0.1 hours, so it's literally for like one step, I think. But that's fine. It did help me to plan a little bit. My sanity is just about to drop to absolutely nothing. I don't like it. Oh, actually, that might be what I'll go for when I get to the death zone. Is this going to get me to the death zone? Nope. That's unfortunate. Lots of energy, too. Damn it. That's what I'll get for with the death zone, though, is I'll, I'll heal my wounds. Warmth or energy? I guess I'll go for energy. Sure. And unfortunately, like I said, sanity is not looking great. And that didn't get me to the death zone, so I still have a long way to go till the death zone. Which is gonna suck. No two words about it. Yep, that's where my sanity's gonna run out, and I'm gonna start perhaps getting critical events. Come on, dude. Just hang in there. You reach an expansive plateau. A thick fog bank hangs over a depression in the rock. You stare into the gray mass for a while, wandering. Or wondering if it is concealing something. You find it odd that the fog doesn't seem to be dissipating or spreading at all. So you walk into the fog, or I look around outside the fog bank. 
I mean, there's no reason not to walk into the fog. Because I'm not going to lose any sanity, because I already have none. So, whatever. You take one step into the fog, then another. The fog swirls around you, clouding your vision. As you advance, you hear a hiss. Then a muffled hammering and rattling. Another hiss. You keep moving forward, arms outstretched. The sound gets louder and louder until it becomes deafening. Bad? Suddenly, something blows in your face. It's burning hot, as if the air were on fire. You scream in pain and stumble out of the fog. You plunge headfirst into a snowdrift, cooling the aching half of your face. What on earth was that? Well, that sounds bad. Yep. Injured head. Reduced experience gain. Wow. But I get experience, which means a tiny bit. Tiny bit of sanity. Nope. Didn't get a tiny bit of sanity. Well, that sucks. Sanity per hour when moving. Yep, let's do it. I need the sanity. That is, can't stop now. Two. Oh, there's my tiny bit of sanity. Three sanity. Or was that from something else? That might have been from something else. I could have sworn, like, he gets sanity right here. Three sanity. Yeah, that's what it was from. So the level up must come after you pick your level up, then. Well, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Oh, oh! I'm gonna gain sanity! Holy shit, yes! Keep moving, dude! Gain the sanity! Oh, it's an abandoned radio relay station. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna has blocked your path. Is blocking your path. I stay and look around, losing all my sanity. Or I climb over the antenna and continue my journey. Let's probably not lose all the sanity. Although I could find something, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay and look around. I'm boosting sanity anyway, so it's no big deal. You are certain that the antenna is from the years of, of occupation. Maybe it was some kind of radio relay station. But what was it used for? You ponder as you continue on your way. That's it. That sucked. This is deep snow, isn't it? Ew, it's all super deep snow. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I don't know if there's any way I can make this better either. Maybe if I go like this... You're fine, dude. You're gonna get sanity back, don't worry. I see you're building up sanity. You're good. I don't know how long you're gonna build sanity for. 12.9 hours, I guess. I've got food, right? Yeah, I've got food, so I can push you. I can push you. We don't have to stop. This is gonna suck for energy. This is all just fucking deep snow here. It's all just a clump of deep snow. Is this deep snow, too? Yep, it definitely is. This one, too? Yep, 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 yep. It's all just deep snow. What about this? Yep, this? Yep. Man, that sucks. That sucks shit. That is so much energy wasted. But I don't have a choice. It's, it's all deep snow. There's nothing I can do. Let's keep going. At least we got past it. We're headed towards the summit. It is over there. There's the death zone. Perfect. This is what I wanted. Because I don't have to worry about oxygen. Don't really have to worry about energy that much. I'm going to mend my wounds. Oh, it doesn't even really help that much. Whatever. At least it's some freaking sanity gain. It's not a lot. Still got 11.3 hours of sanity gain for... For moving. And major sanity loss when events are resting. Hopefully I won't lose a bunch of sanity here, because there's a couple events coming up. Definitely gonna pop them. Might be something good. Ooh. Strange tracks. You pull your hood down around your face and you glance and and as you glance at the ground. 
you notice some tracks in the snow. The paw prints look like they belong to a bear, but the pattern is unusual, as if the bear was walking on its hind legs. Ugh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, uh, freaking sanity loss. Guess I should probably follow it. I'm gonna get mauled by a bear. Wait. The tracks lead you to a cave. A steaming kettle hangs over a fire pit. Next to the fire sits a figure, draped from head to toe in animal furs. A hermit? Could this be your bear? I talk to the stranger. I give him an oxygen bottle. Or I leave and continue my journey. You know what, dude? Take an oxygen bottle. I have too many oxygen bottles. The hermit gazes stoically into the fire, his face obscured by a wild thatch of beard. His ladles, or he ladles the contents of the kettle into a bowl and hands it to you. The stew has a strong odor that stings your nostrils. You can't help thinking that if you're not careful, you might wind up in that kettle yourself. I should probably eat some stew. You have no idea what you're eating. But it's doing you a world of good. You thank the hermit for his hospitality, but he won't make eye contact with you. He returns to the fireside. You decide this is a good time to head out. Hey, he gave me energy. Fan Whoa, that's a lot of energy. Holy crap. That is a lot of energy. No joke. 8.9 hours, okay. Shoot. Of course it would have to be risky terrain, wouldn't it? Maybe this way? Much better. Don't want the risky train. If I can hand, or if I can uh, manage to not get the risky train. But we're definitely heading for this item. There's the summit. Right up there. It's not too far now. It sure looks like it's far away, but it's really not that far. Fragile ice. You reach the shore of a frozen mountain lake. On the embankment, you find what remains of a camp. You take a look around, but there's nothing useful in sight. Where is there? Just a few yards from you on the sheet of ice, you spot an unopened can of food. Do you want to retrieve it? Sure. There is a break as you set foot on the ice. Fine cracks form beneath your boots, spreading in a spider web across the ice. I keep trying, or I turn around and continue my journey. It's probably not worth it. I already have food. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna risk getting hurt. I already have a mind hurt. Or an injured head. Might as well not get injured everything else. I might go run and try and get that encounter there. Doesn't look too bad. Quite a bit of energy because it's a storm, which is rough. Oh, <gasps> shrine. Hello. What a beautiful time for a shrine. Can I get to it? I'm going to take it one step at a time. Yeah, that looks safe there. I want to go to that shrine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start losing sanity once I lose this buff, though, that can't stop now. Pretty sure that's the only thing that's actually keeping my sanity up. And it, it's not much. But at least I haven't gone insane, so that's something. A shrine. Please, sanity? Nope. Oh, wait. Sanity. Yes. Perfect. 15.3. I'll take it. It's not much, but I'll take it. Take anything I can get. Any little bit of sanity helps. Revenge of the Hermit? Oh, shoot. Gusts of snow pelt your face as a bear rears up in front of you, a glowing aura surrounds the creature, and it gestures at you to follow it. What? For a moment, you wonder if you've gone insane. Well, I mean, my, my sanity is pretty low. Or maybe the hermit poisoned you, and now you are suffering the consequences. It's all possible, or it's also possible that you are long dead, and the bear is guiding you into the afterlife. 
I follow the bear? So you have been poisoned. This isn't quite the way you thought you'd go. You always figured you would wind up buried under an avalanche or crushed by a boulder. A proper mountaineer's death. You look around, the bear stops near some shrubbery. Behind it, you can just make out the mouth of a cave. You cast... You cast about... Cast about? Cast about. For some sign that you are in the afterlife. Nothing. But you do find some very real equipment. Your heart swells with gratitude. Oh, good. That's snow boots. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'll take snow boots. I haven't had freaking boots on this whole entire stream. The whole thing. All the mountains. No boots. But now we got boots. Okay, that was scary, but I guess it's fine. I freaking hate this storm. Okay, this is bad, but I want to try and get to that cave. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I don't want double. Ooh, I guess I don't have a choice. God, and I have no safety ropes. Alright, let's do it. Is it going to be triple? It looks like it's going to be triple. Yuck. Whew, okay, lucky. Down to the cave. Gonna rest the night in the cave. Because we're just about done with the can't stop now anyway. Oh, fuck, of course. The last one would get me. It's not red, though. Interesting. You encounter a slope filled with rubble. Even your very first step onto it sets off a mini landslide. With stones rolling out from under your feet and down the mountainside. I keep going anyway, or I try to find a different path. Oh my god, that is a lot of hurt. I'm just going to keep going anyway. Maybe something will be good. Just a few steps in and the first rocks roll out from under your feet. You fall, landing heavily on your side and sliding a short distance before or down the slope. That was painful. Eh, 1.2 hearts. That's not so bad. Or life. Not too bad. We're going to go ahead and rest in this cave. Okay. Yes. Sanity goes down. Oxygen goes way down, but we'll be fine. All right. Summit is within reach. Or is very close. I still have four oxygen bottles. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a fifth one. That's fine. Just use an oxygen bottle. Fine with that. Go. Let me see if there's any other medallions that I'm interested in grabbing. Not particularly. Maybe this one wouldn't be bad. You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Blueprints lead away from the spot in a zigzagging pattern and disappear behind a rock. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you follow the tracks. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It was good last time. Maybe it'll be good this time. They spot the backpack in your outstretched hand. Stranger takes the backpack and reaches inside. Blah, 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 blah. What is he going to do? Can of food. I am going to decline it. Thank you, sir, but I would much rather have the sanity, honestly. Clear mind, that's garbage. Intense movement, body temperature, don't really know it. I don't really need it. I'm going to go with the experience. Sure. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. There's a lot of medallions over there, but man, are those far away. One of them is sanity and a shrine. Jeez. I can't do it. I can't in all good conscience try and go that far away, though. This is going to be fun to get out of. going to need to go this way, because this is all impassable terrain. So if I go this way, I only have to step on these two. Let's hope for the best. Remember, it was this one that got me last time, so maybe these two will be good again. Maybe they'll be kind again. Please? Yes, kind. Good. Good, good, good. Because I do not have safety ropes anymore. 
And I don't think I've ever, ever actually found a safety rope. The only time I have safety rope is when I take it from the camp. Okay. Tomorrow's gonna be clear, which is fantastic. I'm not so worried about body temperature, because I have those fur gloves and they are doing a fantastic job. Do we just keep going this way or go down? I think this way is the better way because there's just so much ice over here. So yeah, let's go this way. Shouldn't be too much uh, too much energy. Oh god, the sanity. I knew it. I knew once that buff wore off, my sanity was going to go down again. Uh-oh. Trust me, if I had an herb, I would pop it, but I don't. I may not even go for that encounter because there's just so much risky ice there. Unless maybe I get it from the top. Oh, there's a sun medallion. I need that. I need that like pronto. It means I'm going to need to go up. What is that over there? Encounter. I'm going to have to go up, which means stepping on this risky, but that's fine. It's just one risky. Should be fine. Yeah, good. You're good at not triggering those events, buddy. Good job. Alright, let's get up here. I don't think I'm going to do the encounter. Seems like it would probably just be a lot of wasted energy. Oh, good. Time to go insane. You can make it to the sun medallion. I believe in you. It's a long ways away. I don't know if he's going to make it. We are going to have some sanity events to deal with. Not that I know what those are. I've never been insane before. Come on, dude. No. Oh, there it is. Sanity event. You are lost in thought when several figures appear hazy, ghostly. A human body lies cushioned on the stretcher they carry. Did they fall? Were they crushed? You know all too well how merciless nature can be. Nobody takes any notice of you as the funeral procession passes you. You look at the corpse more closely and your blood runs cold. The deceased is wearing your clothes, carrying your equipment. You close your eyes tightly, taking deep breaths. When you open your eyes again, the procession has disappeared. It's going to do health damage, isn't it? Oh god, what is this? Paranoia ends in 16 hours plus 30% time cost on all terrains. Oh god. Well, I mean, it's not health damage. There is that. Am I going to trigger any more? Probably. Please just get to the sun medallion. That's so close. Okay, good. Just, just get there. Don't trigger something here and then you'll get there. No! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Voices. The voices in your head whisper to you, urging you to jump into the abyss. It's the only way to reach your destination. You try to ignore them, but they only grow louder and more threatening. You will die a miserable death if you don't do as they say. You slap yourself, but the voices remain. You clench your fist and punch the rocks until your knuckles bleed. The pain brings you back to reality and the voices go silent. That's ah, an injured hand. Oh! 4.2 A sanity regain. Thank you. I mean, it's it's not great, but it's also not terrible. Sanity. Oh, good. Okay, now everything is getting better. We just had to go a little bit insane. Just a little bit insane. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I'm glad that we got sanity back from that. Because that really helped a lot. Mysterious stranger. Out of nowhere, a stranger suddenly appears. He's clad in furs. And his face, just visible amidst his, amidst his heavy garments, looks... What is that? Sallow? S something? Sallow? I don't know. As you approach, he proffers... A small parcel wrapped in leather. Proffers? Do they mean offers? I don't know. I open the parcel? What have you got? You find provisions inside. 
You look up to thank the stranger, but he has vanished. Oh, he gave me a gun! Hell yeah. It's another gun. It doesn't give you light, though. That's weird. It calls for help. What the hell does that mean? Well, I could have used that a little while ago. Actually, it probably was a good thing I didn't have that. Probably shoot yourself in the head or something. You're like, well, you do have a flare pistol, and you are going insane, so your character just decides to put the pistol to the head and boom, be done with it. It's like, no, please don't. Okay, how's my inventory looking? Because there is an item coming up here. I still have one use on my tent, too. Might pop another oxygen bottle, but maybe not yet. It is dark. How much do I lose body heat? Uh, body temperature is falling quite a bit. It's not great. I mean, all I have is fur gloves, so that's not super great. Remember, I should stick to the snow, though, because I do use less energy in the snow. A time cost. Good conscience. Okay, so it's not too bad. Let's check this item real quick. And there's a shrine. Wolf's head? Oh, this is that stone wolf's head. I don't have the energy to do this. Although, if I were to eat my food, I now do have the energy to do it. I'm going to do it. Usually you get something great for this. Sanity? Yeah. And a gun. Calls for a traitor. What are the chances you're going to want my stupid tent again? I'll take that gun. Eh. Yeah, I don't know what the red flare gun does. I've never actually even seen the flare guns. Maybe they are a... second area mountain exclusive. I don't know. Freaking Summit is right there. God, it's right there. Can I get to this shrine? Uh oh. It's not looking fantastic. Oh god, no. Please don't tell me I can't get to that shrine. Oh no, I think I can. It'd be a little bit of a climb, but I think I can get to it. Oxygen's looking a little dangerous. I'll try and make a little... just little movements. I want that item, too. Oh, I'm running out of energy. Pretty not great. Will this shrine give me energy? Because that would be kind of cool. Oh, and a cave. Fantastic. Maybe I'll just rest in that cave. Pop oxygen before I go to bed. And then rest in the cave. What do you give me? Oxygen or energy? Well, shit. You had to give me a hard choice, didn't you? What's, how much oxygen is it? That's a lot of oxygen. You know, I think I'll go for the oxygen. That way I can go down here and get my energy. No big deal. That way I don't have to pop the oxygen bottle. Good, because I may still need it. We are still going way up. Uh, I'll follow the smell. See what happens here. Fear wells up inside you. Oh, good. Before you can react, something bites your leg. Cursing and in pain, you flee the cave. Good. Really good shit. Oh, shit, I didn't get to sleep. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. I didn't even know that could happen. Energy cost, intense movement. Uh, sure. We'll go with that. I guess I'm going to be using my freaking tent. Yep. That's unfortunate. Shoot. I didn't even know that was the thing that tents could, or uh, that caves could do. Was scare you so much you were forced out of the cave and you couldn't even sleep there. Wait, do I not have... No, I have to take it slow. It must not have made any difference. I was watching my oxygen and I didn't see it burst up.
guess I'm gonna head over here and check out this encounter. These encounters haven't been great for me so far. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We've got some item room. Maybe I can get a tent. I am going to shoot off the red gun. Bam. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, hi, dog. Do you have something good in your bag? You have tea and a helmet? Well, thank you, dog. The tea is not super useful. I was really hoping for a tent. Hmm. I have no other way of getting energy either. So maybe the idea is I also shoot off the green pistol and get a trader. Beneath a rocky outcrop, a woman sits by a small fire, warming her hands. Her face is painted with artful, sweeping lines and circles. When she notices you, she waves at you and starts to gesticulate before pulling something out of her pack. After a moment, you understand that she wants to trade with you. She wants fur gloves, and you can choose something from her in return. You choose <gasps> a tent. Want something else? Oh, it's sanity! Oh, you son of a bitch! Hmm, sometimes I hate this game. Because I could use both of these. Honestly, my sanity is okay now. I think the tent is better. Giving up my fur gloves does suck, though. But I, th I think I need the tent. Thank you, that's kind of what I was hoping for. But still, you son of a bitch came. You gotta be kidding me. It had to give me that option. Okay, remember, remember I didn't use my oxygen bottle yet? So that's good. Heart of the Explorer. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent, or what remains of one. There are slashes in the tent, okay. Why did they leave in such a hurry? So I can search through the provisions, which will take 11 oxygen, or I can thoroughly investigate, which takes energy and oxygen. Mm, and time. I am going to thoroughly do it. In a sleeping bag, you find a thick book bound in leather. You engross yourself in reading the handwritten entries and learn about a zoologist. Oh, it's the zoologist again, who spent most of her life searching for an undiscovered species of the genus Homa. This, or there is also a sketch of a hirsute human-like creature, almost 10 feet in height. It reminds you of the legendary Yeti. Lots of experience. Okay, well, that's not really what I was hoping for. And I am so far in the death zone, there is no hope. That I will ever get oxygen without using my cans or bottles. Wait. Alright, it's fine. This is pretty rough. There's an item over there, so I do want to grab that item on my way up to the summit. If I can. I am running low on energy. Probably a really good thing I got that tent. To be honest. Shit, why does it have to be deep snow right here? I'm gonna be very mad if this doesn't actually lead to the item. Oh no, I think it does. It's gonna be a bit of climbing, but I can get up there at least. I'm gonna try and go as far as I can on my energy that I have. I think that's about as far as I'm going. Gonna have to make this climb tomorrow anyway. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest. Sleep long. Lose a lot of oxygen. Yuck. It's fine. I've still got bottles. Although I am quickly running out of bottles. There's day. Daybreak's gonna happen. 
Remember when we get to the summit, we get a burst of everything, so that's good. Including health. And it doesn't look like... Well, there is a sanity medallion. I might hit that after I get this summit. Let's get this item. Hopefully. You never know. If you go up to this, it doesn't mean you're going to get an item. Torches. Crates filled with dynamite are stacked in a small cave. Behind the crates are just... You can just make out a few torches. Now, that, those would be useful. Useful. Um... I can carefully move the crates out of the way, climb over the crates, or I do nothing and continue my journey. I'm going to climb over because it's just a 0.7 loss. It's not too bad. You carefully climb over the crates, wondering how long the dynamite has been here for. But you don't wonder for very long before reaching the torches. You quickly stow them in your pack and get out of the cave. Oh, torches. Fantastic. Or a torch. Duration 8 hours, 200% light radius. That is very nice. It might also work for a cave event. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost at the summit. We are just about there. Wow, look how far down that is. That is an item way down there. Gigantic footprints. You see footprints in the snow in front of you. They've almost been swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large, like those of a giant. And it would appear that this giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks to a crevice, where they end. At the bottom of the crevice, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down there? You can jump across and pick up the trail on the other side. I jump to the other side, losing energy, or I carefully climb into the crevice, losing oxygen. Or I find another way around and continue my journey. Uh... God, I guess I'll go for this. I really want to know if there's something down here. You slip and fall down the crevice. Great. The impact is hard and leaves your head pounding. Good. That sounds like a head wound. You are still slightly dazed when you notice a corpse. Not that of a giant, but that of a normal-sized woman. You creep closer and look into the two dark, empty eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could enemies or could animals have eaten them? You search her torn anorak and find an identity card from the research from a research institute for zoology and some equipment. Yep, ended up. Oh, it's a sprained ankle. That's not so bad. It's better than the hurt head. There's my climbing axe. Finally. Took freaking long enough to get it, but you know, better late than never, I suppose. <laughs> this is not gonna help any. My sanity's never gonna be high. I Guess I could do the explore the mountain? Sure, why not? I don't need the heat. Which is crazy. I can't believe I don't need the heat. That is absolutely crazy. There's the summit. It's right here. It's within our grasp. Oh, the energy. Oh, it sucks balls. Maybe I should put on the thunder charm? Yeah, I'm gonna put on the thunder charm. Just take that energy cost down for a bit. It's going to hurt the sanity a little, but I think it'll be fine. At least until the sprained ankle goes away. 15 hours. Jesus, it's a really long time. Okay, so now I'm starting to kind of run out of oxygen. I'm hoping to make it to the summit before I run out of oxygen and before I have to use my oxygen tank. My single remaining bottle, I might add. This is a very long climb. We're almost there. It's literally right there. Just gotta find out the best way to get there. Probably like this. And then here and here and here. And it should be fine. I've got enough energy. I'm just hoping I have the oxygen for it. Without having to do any critical distress. It's getting pretty damn low though. 14.5 oxygen is not great. Well... Let's see, how much energy is that? 6.5, whereas if I do this, it's 3.1. That is much better. Yeah, so it's always better to stair-step your way up, rather than to just go straight up. If you can, anyway. Perfect, we made it to the summit. Fantastic, my god, this is high up. Nice. Initials. 
Your heart races as you haul yourself up to the summit. You did it! Finally! You immediately take a look at the structure. A steel mast rises into the sky, and metal wire supports the large struts that sprout from either side of it. It's definitely an antenna. You move closer, taking out the amulet. The stone in your hand pulses strongly, evenly. The wires on the mast begin to vibrate, and you hear a humming sound. It's quiet at first, but then starts growing louder and louder. It seems the young woman was correct, at least about the radiation. It's strong up here. But it is strong, but is it strong enough to stop the time loop? Deep in thought, you lean against the mast. Then you notice a few strange notches, one of... What? A few strange notches, one of the metal struts. Probably they meant to say in one of the metal struts, I think? I don't know. You scrape away the ice. No, those aren't notches, they're letters. People have carved their initials into the steel. You gasp in surprise when you see their your name. What? Your name? Right there, alongside the others. What? How? I've never even been here before. What does it mean? Why can't you remember reaching the summit before? This whole thing is getting out of control. You have to get back and confront the mysterious stranger. Look at that. We get three health, lots of energy, lots of oxygen, lots of sanity. Ah, oh, so good. What a great burst. Okay. Oh my god, that is really far away. But the good thing is, we're going to be getting out of the death zone. Okay, that is really far, though. And I'm trying to think it's probably going to be best to like go down here and kind of inch my way. Let's see what happens if I click this. Okay. So it's saying that you can just kind of hug this mountain. Okay, that's fine. I'm not actually going to do it, of course. Ooh. But that sun medallion. Could I get it? I don't actually think I can get that. Oh, I can. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab it for sure. It's just free sanity. Hell yeah, I'm going to need the sanity. Oxygen's gonna be way less of a problem. Cause when we're going down, we're gonna get out of the death zone. But my god, are we way up in the death zone? Sixteen hundred meters in the death zone. Uh oh. I might be having some oxygen issues. That might happen. But I definitely do want to grab this. I don't suppose there's any... No, that's a dead end, I think. Damn it, I'm trying to see if there's any way to get around this without having to go right back up to the summit. I'm pretty sure I might have to go right back up to the summit. A limestone cave. What do I get for sanity? It is... 21.3. That's not bad. And some decent experience. I mean, I could climb down here, but I'm not in the right spot. Now, let's keep going. Still have that stupid sprained ankle. Alright, and that's a dead end too, right? Yeah. Don't want to go into the deep snow. Oh, it's just, just deep snow everywhere. Whatever. It's fine. It's going to waste a lot of energy, but it's fine. We need to get back on this other side anyway. I don't think there's any other real way to do it. I think if I can get down to where this ice is, I do believe this should be outside the death zone, right? Because we entered the death zone like right around here somewhere, I think, something like that. So it should be possible to get out of the death zone re relatively easy. Or relatively easily, I should say. Wait, did I still have food? No, I used it up. Damn it. I have, like, nothing actually useful. For now. Jeez. 
hate these stupid charms. Why are they such garbage? I thought they were going to be super good. But they're only like slightly good and, and really terrible with the, with the bad stuff. Although I guess the one that I have on is not too bad. I mean, sanity is bad, but negative 20% energy cost on all terrains is pretty freaking good. That is honestly not bad. Okay, I'm going to have to work my way down here, which is probably not going to be easy, because this is all just not even terrain. I'll try and move as much as I can. Even in the night, because I'm not worried about body heat, it's just fine. It's probably because I have to stay warm at level 2. Super good. Let's just try and move as much as we can so that we can get as close to out of the death zone as possible. But also try to be slow. Because I don't want to use too much energy. Okay, this is just going to be... Yeah, it's a dead end. Definitely don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Still have one oxygen bottle. And I'm prob I'm definitely going to have to pop it before I sleep. And my tent still has two uses on it, so we're good there. I just have to find a way out of this death zone. As soon as possible. That's why I'm trying to go as far as I possibly can. That way we have less to travel. Is that a cave down there? I can't tell if that's a cave or not. Can I go down here? Yes, I still have the energy for that. That's good. If I could get below 7,000 meters, I don't think I'm going to make it. No, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get below 7,000 meters before I have to sleep. Maybe I can get right here to this, like, cliff edge here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Remember, I like moving in snow, too, because I got the snow boots. That's going to be too much, isn't it? Yep, that's what I figured. We could just completely run ourselves out of energy if we want to. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Let's do it. You start the critical events after you run out of energy. So you technically could do this. I don't think it's going to give me a critical event right away. Oh, it did. Good. Every step is torture. If only you could sleep just for a few minutes. My eyes close. Great. The pain wakes you up again. You're lying on the ground, blood running from your nose. Good. But I got energy. Hey. Hey. Maybe a good trade. I'll take it. I'm gonna use the oxygen. And now that we've got this extra burst of energy, let's get the hell out of here if we can. I've used up all my oxygen now, though, so I've got to get out of this death zone. Problem is, it's just, it's not as easy as you would think. There are no sheer just, hey, just climb down this for days and then you're out of the death zone. No, it doesn't work that way. That's an encounter. That's not a cave. Sanity is not looking great either. We're getting a little lower, which is good. I don't know how low I have to go to get out of the death zone, though, but I'm gonna have to get out. I have no oxygen. Getting down here, I feel, would be out of the death zone. Could be wrong, though. I'm barely making any, any progress getting out of the death zone. Very rough. What I wouldn't give for some food right now. Sure would be nice. Okay, that's not going to take too much energy. Try 
trying to think if I can get down here. Because I'm certainly, I have to get out of this death zone. I mean, I might be able to sleep for one more time, but I doubt it. Damn it. That is going to cause me to run out of energy again. Shit. Well, let's do it. I've got to do it. As long as I don't fall asleep here and take some damage, I am going to sleep here, I think. Because we should be about 6.5. Yeah, that's about 6.5. Shit, no more chest pain. You are laboriously play pulling yourself up a rock face when you feel a pain, a pang of pain in your chest. Oh yeah, I've seen this before. Just more hurt. That is unfortunate, but it didn't give us energy, so I am going to go ahead and rest here. Sleep long. Go. It is going to be stormy, which is unfortunate. And I'm out of oxygen, but I should get a little boost. Yep, a little boost. Not much, but a little boost. Let's see if we can make it to this encounter. Maybe it'll be somebody with an oxygen model. Maybe I shouldn't have given that guy my oxygen bottle, jeez. Didn't realize I was going to need it so much. Oh my god, this is dangerous, dangerous territory. Super risky terrain everywhere. You encounter a cloaked mountaineer. He points at your flask and holds his hands together. What, the tea? You can have tea, dude. Give me something good. The mountaineer bows and continues on his way. Well, I mean, it's sanity. Sure. And experience. Maybe he'll come back with an oxygen bottle. I can only hope. Yep. Oxygen's gone. That is super bad. Oh boy. Come on, you're okay. Just gotta get out of the death zone. Almost out. Problem is, I don't know if I can get out down here. This is at least down as well. It's not going to be enough. This whole plateau is going to be in the death zone. Fuck, I was hoping it wouldn't. You are overcome by a stinging, unbearable pain in your temples. How long can you keep going in these heights? God, I am taking so much damage. Okay, we're just gonna have to push on this way. See if we can get to that cliff edge there. I know it's rough. I mean, what else can I do? I can't get oxygen. I have nothing. Right? Yeah, I've got nothing. I literally have, like, nothing at all. Nothing good, anyway. Just keep going, hope for, hope for the best. Keep going, buddy, keep going. And you're about to have no sanity, too. God. Ecstasy. You take in the view and are overcome with elation. Mountains are without a doubt the most beautiful structure on Earth, and no man-made edifice however magnificent it may be, can compete. You feel good, but better than ever. The beauty of the mountain gives you strength. I get going, or I continue to enjoy the view. I'm going to continue to enjoy the view for now. You are unable to keep a lid on your euphoria and let out a whoop and another. You want the entire world to know you're up here. Then you hear a crash. Large chunks of ice come cascading down. You take cover, but a block of ice hits you on the arm, and the pain catapults you back to reality. Damn it. Well, hey, oxygen. That's... something. Thank you so much for at least giving me some oxygen. I am trying my absolute best to get out of this stupid death zone. There's a shrine up there, but these... Those things are way into the death zone. I have to get out of the death zone. 
I don't have a choice. I have to get out of this death zone. So let's try and get out of here as best we can. Even if it means climbing way down, I have to get out. God, these sanity events are going to kill me. Maybe they won't, though. Maybe they'll just give me paranoia again. Paranoia is not the worst. Oh my god. Do I, do I just climb it? I would get out of the death zone. Do I have to go that low to get out of the death zone? Or could I perhaps go to this cave? Let me see if this death or this cave is out of the death zone. There's a funeral procession again. Yep. That's pretty bad. There's the paranoia, but that's fine. Like I said, it's not the worst. Is this is this out of the death zone? It is not. That sucks. I was really looking forward to getting to that cave. There's a sun medallion, which is really good. Maybe we go here. Get the nightfall. Down. You know, it's going to hurt the energy. But it's going to get us out of the death zone. And that's just what I need right now, is just to get out of the death zone. Hopefully we won't trigger an energy critical thing. But it might happen. Oh, look at how slow he is. Super slow, because no energy and no sanity. Come on, don't trigger it. Yes, good. Okay, we're out of the death zone. This is the perfect place to try and sleep. One last tent usage. Sleep long. Get that oxygen back, babe. Woo! Okay. That was incredibly terrifying. Okay, I don't even think I'm going to worry about going to the cave. I, I would love to get the sun medallion. I really would. But I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I am insane still, so I can't do anything about that. Shit. Oh! Oh, he's just holding tea? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tea and herbs. Oh, yes. Torch. Take all the items. I'll take the tea and the herbs, thank you very much. Because I need those herbs. It is going to hurt my health, but I need it. I just, I have to have it. It'll give me a tiny bit of sanity. Extra sanity from that. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. <laughs> talk about slow. Or talk about close. Tense movement two. I don't think body temperature is really my problem. I'll take the take it slow. Body temperature is really not a problem at all. Although... Would this put me in the death zone? No, it doesn't. Okay. I may jump up there and try and grab that sun medallion. I really need the sanity. Like, really badly. Ah, back in the death zone for a bit. It's fine. It's fine, you can handle it, dude. I believe in you. You got this. It's like right there. It's like right there, and then you'll just get right out of the fucking death zone again, okay? You're just gonna peek your head into the death zone just a tiny bit. Grab the sanity. And then get the fuck out. Migratory birds? I don't think I've seen that before. What kind of sanity do you get for that? As the birds disappear over the horizon, think about all the mysterious and inex inexplicable things you've encountered during your journey. Are they the result of natural phenomena? Are they anomalies? Or could the mysterious occupiers be behind them all? You still don't understand what's happening here, but something inside you tells you that you will find what you're looking for. 
Thank God, look at all that freaking sanity. That was worth it. That was worth it. Well, at least that's what I say now. Can I get out of the death zone without doing too much damage to my oxygen? What is that down there? An item. I am probably going to look into that item. There, that's out of the death zone right there. Man, it is going to be really hard to stay out of the death zone. The death zone is like down here? Oh, that's terrible. That means I have to go back up in the death zone to get over this, more than likely. Oh wait, no, I left the death zone here. Oh, I thought it was down here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's go over here and see what this item is. Please be something good. Please. Please? Fragile ice. Oh, God. It's an unopened can of food. I'm going to give it a try. Yeah. Should I keep trying? I'm going to try because the food could be useful. Good. Oh, double food. Hell yes. So much worth. I will pop that right now. Double food. Oh, my God. That was so good. Double food savior. Oh my god, this is all fucking deep snow. I hate it. I am stuck. I have to go through the deep snow. Thank god I got those snow boots. Let's do it. God, it sucks. Okay, we'll just do that for now. I want to see what that's going to do. There's a cave over here, which I may... Do I want to sleep in that cave, or is that... That's not in the death zone. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, there's a shrine. Can I get to that shrine? I can. I may have to, too. To the cave. What do we got? Follow the light? Oh, it's the fireflies! Yay! Tiny bit of sanity. And I'm going to sleep forever. Whew. Man. Okay. That was super freaking lucky. Can I go around this way? I can. What is that? Handshake thing. I don't know what that means. I'll peek into the death zone. And then get out of the death zone right away. Don't worry, dude. You're going down. You are just dancing in the death zone. That's it. Oh, thank God. I'm actually getting oxygen back again. It's a trade. Hmm. Canned food for a tent? Ooh. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's much better. I mean, the canned food only gives you a burst of energy, whereas the tent can offer me three bursts of energy. And lots of oxygen and stuff. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That's a good trade. Thank you so much, trade post. And I'm gonna have to go back into the death zone. Oh no, wait, that's the death zone. I may have to go back into the death zone to get this shrine, but I think it's probably worth it. Because my meters are so low, maybe I can get a sanity or something. I don't know if I'm going to grab these other ones. I may just go for the camp. I am taking a lot of time and I'm losing a lot of sanity. And I really don't want to go insane again. I have very little health. Although, if this shrine offered health, I'd probably take it. My health is very low. It's at 4.7. That is really bad. Health? 
Sanity or warmth? Well, I'll take the sanity for sure. That'll do. Okay, so what is my plan to get over there now? Well, I've got to get back down out of the death zone, that's for sure. This is going to be my best way to do that. I cannot spend very much time in this death zone. I spent way too much time in it. I really probably, now that I think about it, I should have done the oxygen thing. I just thought I'd be fine. I was like, five oxygen bottles, I'll be just fine. I can give one away, I'll be fine. I have four. Four was not enough. Okay. Just move along. Is it still thundering outside? Jeez. Okay, so I think we're just about done here. Thank God, and I think I'm just barely, just barely going to make it through this. Although if something bad happens and I lose this little tiny bit of health I have, I'm screwed. I have a very small amount of health, and I can't do anything about it. Nothing at all. Pretty rough. Well, now that I have the tent... Maybe I'll swap my charms here so I can get more sanity. The energy cost sucks, but the uh, less loss of sanity is probably worth the trade-off. Don't like that. Anyway, I can maybe go around. Because this isn't taking any energy at all. It's just walking on flat land. And I have snow boots, so I'm not going to take any energy. Oh, man. Well, that's super fucking tempting to go up there and get all these met medals. So many. But I just, I can't. I can't do it. Can't and all go a good conscience do it. I don't even know if I want to grab this one. I'm so close to the camp. May as well just go for it. Right? Because this is... Deep snow. Ah, sure, we'll, we'll grab it. It's fine, at least I'm not in the uh, freaking death zone. Oh, god damn. Your boots crunch as you walk across a snowy plain. Suddenly, the ground gives way beneath you. You sink up to your neck in snow and can hardly move. Only your arms are free. I can pull myself out for energy or dig myself out. I'm gonna dig a way out. You scoop the snow aside with your bare hands. The cold in your fingers becomes unbearable. Eating deep into your tissue, finally you once again have enough room to move and you're able to heave your body over the edge. That sounds to me like a hand injury. Oh, it's not. A goat. Hi, goat. I could help you for energy. What is it? You discover a goat on a plateau. Close close by is a puma. Hiding in the shadows and waiting for the right moment to attack. I help the puma. <laughs> I'll help the goat. You grab a stone and throw it hard at the puma. Success! Startled, the puma runs away. The goat also runs away. Leaving in its wake a patch of herbs and some useful equipment. Oh my god, please be moon herbs. It is. Climbing gloves. Shit. Well, yeah, now I get climbing gloves. A little late. Can I afford to do this? I'm just going to keep it just in case. I'm not going to use it yet. If I don't need to use it, I'm not going to use it. Because it is a bit risky. Oh god. It's freaking risky terrain. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Whew. Man, every strip is treacherous of this mountain. But we're almost there. We're so close. How would we get there? Oh, my God. Look at all the risky terrain. Is that the only way? Can I 
go around? It's risky that way, too. Just gonna have to go for it. Just go for it. Go for it and pray. I have run out of a lot of energy. Hold on. I'll stop. Oh, wait, no. I used up my food, didn't I? I did. But you know what? I do have a tent. There's no reason not to sleep. Before going across the risky terrain, let's get as much energy as possible, right? Didn't even hurt the sanity too much. Go. It's three out of four. Can we do the four for four? Yes! All four are passed! Woot! Holy crap. Man, that was a nightmare. <laughs> we did it. A red glow. Exhausted, you crawl into a narrow cave. You are safe here. As you descended, your amulet grew hotter and hotter, its color gradually shifting to yellow. The stone was soaking up the radiation like a sponge soaks up water. Now it has turned glowing red. You are starting to worry that the amulet will burst when you hear a shrill siren in the distance. Time will be reset soon. Will the radiation be enough to break you free from the time loop? You'll have, you'll have your answer soon. Boom. Holy crap. That was a tough one. Man, that was a super tough one. No joke. All right. 23 hours walked at night. Man, that is crazy. Didn't get any, like, super bonuses either. That's not bad. That is a lot of good stuff there. More upgrade points for everybody, more capacity, unlock torches, bandages, red flare pistol, and green flare pistol. Good stuff. And some event knowledge. Hell yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to snooze here real quick. I'll do just one snooze, because I think all we have is this, and then we're done. When you wake up, you immediately look toward the mysterious stranger. Her expression doesn't reveal whether your attempt to reverse the time loop was a success. Excitedly, you tell her about everything you saw, including the initials on the antenna. You want to know what it means. Can't you see? You've already been up there at least once. Probably multiple times. We've met each other many times, too. Out there and here in the station. But you didn't believe me. It's only since you've had the amulet that your memory lasts... What? Lasts past a single time loop. There we go. It allowed you to regain consciousness. And now you remember everything. Doubt gnaws at you. Wouldn't it be better to just forget? Pain and the fear of being trapped here forever? Why didn't the stranger tell you everything right from the start? And what might she still be hiding from you? I know the situation we're in is no easy one. I wanted to give you time to get accustomed to it all. You know, it took me years to understand all of this. The importance of the stone in particular remained a mystery to me for a long, long time. It's the key to this prison. Prison? You swallow hard. Does that mean you scaled the summit with the antenna for naught? And you're still stuck in the time loop? The stone is overheated just as it should be, but it didn't break the time loop. Please give me time to think about this. In the meantime, you should probably go train some more. It's not over yet. Yeah, that means she's saying side missions are open here. And I would probably recommend doing the ones with these backpacks because you get bonuses if you finish with those characters. And then if you, if you were to complete like this one, then her backpack would be on another one, I think. So it's trying to tell you, hey, do these ones. 
But uh, I'm not going to do that now. Why does this have a one star, I wonder? Is there another map? Like, is Mountain 3 not the end? There's arrows. They don't work. Hmm. I don't know. Let's look at our upgrades real quick. So we got event knowledge. So I'm going to go ahead and round these out. There we go. Man, that was a super hard climb, I gotta say. Not easy at all. What's this one again? Ignore negative effects of weather and terrain. Could be useful. Sanity gain in events, he could have used that. Enthusiasm, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain eight energy, that's nice. Extra sanity and extra health. Hmm, what's this? Energy loss in events. Time loss in events. Sanity loss in events. Boy, sure would be nice. Sure would have been good. Active skill. Spend more time when moving, but ignore dangerous terrain. 50% time cost on all terrain, but you ignore the dangerous terrain? For three hours? Cool down to 24 hours? That's pretty good. Hmm. Maybe I'll pick up the sanity gain in events and then save his 100 so that when he gets the next 200, I can grab this active skill. I think that's pretty good. Gain for sanity. I could get him to just have more sanity, but I don't know. Adrenaline. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain some energy. It's kind of useful. Gain 30 energy. Hmm. Yeah, let's start going into this one, I think. And the adventurer. Negative time cost on all terrain. Health loss and events. Eh. Sanity per hour when moving in the death zone. Gain health when doing that. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to go for the Night Owl and extra oxygen for her. What? Oh yeah, it's saying that he still has points, but I'm planning on getting this active skill. It'd basically just be like a rope that he can use for 24 hours, or every 24 hours. There's the red flare pistol and the green flare pistol. What is this? Oh, nice. That's cool. I do have a little bit more capacity. Very interesting. What would I take? Maybe a sanity herb? The freaking green flare is only 10. That might be nice to have. There's also torches. They're only five a piece. Might not be a bad idea. Or safety ropes. I think I would do safety ropes, because honestly, I hate the negative effects of the terrain. It's really bad. Hey, look, the pendant is now red instead of green. That's good continuity. All right, so I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that'll do it for the stream. A little bit of a long one. You know, hour and a half over. Or half an hour over what I wanted to do as a maximum time. But it should be fine. I think that's really good. We uh, we started into the harder mountain. The middle tier mountain, I should say. And yeah, it's no joke. Game's hard. Barely made it. <laughs> For real. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, tomorrow, maybe... I think it's going to be PFE, probably. But I'm not 100% sure. Might do some Shipbreaker. Not sure. It's going to be not Daedalic, though, because I'm kind of Daedalic'd out for now. 
Anyway, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will see you in the next stream. Bit of us out.